Hello everyone and welcome back to Deck Save the Exandrian Adventures. Woo! Uh, I'm Andrew Lightwood and I'll be your DM for today. And around the table we have... Uh, I'm Jonah and I play Garm, the Dragonborn Paladin. I'm Brianna and I play Note, the Kenku Rogue. I'm Will, I play Morzog, the uh, Fighter. I'm David, I play Jethro, the Wood Elf Bard. I'm Kayla Lightwood, and I play Orana Nagaraman, the Genasi Druid. Oh, I talk loud? Let's have an episode. Oh, yes, because I'm not loud at all. I was more it. so thinking then. No. I was going to say, you should probably face it his way, because he's the hardest. It's omnidirectional. Do. It's uh, just that I'm very loud, so to have it full face on me. It's just a Kayla Adventures. Yeah. Well, one of, one of these days, you know, we'll all just have separate headsets and shit and be able to talk directly in the microphones and get That's some it. get yeah, some it'll, lapels. It'll and yeah, it'll be great. We did one I'm, I'm a sound engineer. We'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, uh, work on it, David. <laughs> I mean, I could probably make that happen. With time and effort. I just don't know if I have the effort. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, the last time we left our band of adventurers... They had uh, discovered the uh, location of the uh, hideout of Stallmast, the individual who had been building a series of automatons to harry the um, the different locations that the adventurers have been to, and. In pursuit of this, uh, they had been through a series of interrogations and uh, explosions and beheading, be <laughs> beheadings, several beheadings. scouting missions. Um, <laughs> upon going up the that poor bat, <laughs> that poor uh, bat. so mistreated. Upon making their way to the silver, the uh, silver falls. They found a cave hiding behind a waterfall where um, fucking goddamn it. Skin. I always forget that. Where Skin Zavaris had been taken refuge and uh, was accompanied by a few henchmen. And the individual they were seeking, Nima, had been. Uh, forced to design uh, small uh, bombs mm. in plans to make a bigger one. Uh, the party ran in, did battle, rescued Nima, and with a slew of bloody and dead bodies and automaton parts amongst the uh, vicinity, they decided to sit down around the extinguished campfire <laughs> to rest and heal their wounds and that is where we will pick up as you guys still sit in the cave of the silver crest or the, or the silver falls uh, patching up your wounds from your previous battle you all recently leveled up to six <laughs> um, you had uh, already looted all the bodies correct Mm-hmm. Yep. So I got a ring. sit amongst the, yes, the ring. broken automaton parts, the bloody bodies that lay amongst the ground, inside of a small cave with a giant steel door. I mean... Nima comes over and sits down amongst the party and goes, oh, Thank you guys so much for coming to save... How did you all know I was here? Persuasion. Investigation. Yeah. You're gonna need a new house. Yes. Yeah, we did. I remember that. What happened to my house? Well, the same people Bandits. who took you. Well, no, the same people who took you made sure that anyone came looking would have a fight, and they also the lost. fight didn't. I mean, they lost. They lost, but you also kind of lost a bedroom. It's more of a arboretum. It's open now. Doors are kind of broken. <laughs> You, you've got an observatory now. Yes, yes. If you there get we a go. screen, it could be a really nice Last time, because we had this conversation at the end of last one, did you give her money? Yep. Okay, yeah. Ten gold pieces. Yeah. 
Then the change of whatever we found. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And the change, because we don't do change. Don't like change. Change is a pain in the ass. I'll take all the change. She just, <laughs> she sighs and she goes, well, hopefully with the money that you guys gave me, I should be able to repair. It's just going to be a pain, but regardless, I thank you all for your help. I mean, you kind of, you're trading half a room for your freedom here, so I mean, I think it's kind of an even trade. Well, more than an even trade. But, uh, uh, these days, do they have the thing? Do they have suing? Huh? Do they have suing? Like, back yeah. Is she, she able to sue somebody? Yeah. Is she oh. going to sue the, uh, sue the warden? You, you the act like they're going to be able to live to be able to be sued. <laughs> yeah. It's a civil suit Sue the warden for being an idiot. I mean, the, the person that kidnapped I mean, her is usually, there, I usually think? Usually there's acquis- acquisitions <laughs> brought before <laughs> from there. whoever yeah, is in there. charge yeah. of the law enforcement in the region. Uh, there's, you know, basically like a trial to where it's like, oh, if we find out that, yeah, you really fucked this guy over, then you're liable to compensate. So, pretty much the same thing. Well, they, yeah, think about it as a Wild them. West. If they survived a trial, yeah. Right. If but, not, well then, yeah, <laughs> take it out of ass. Yeah. Uh, I'm guessing it's before insurance as well. If she oh. wants to sue somebody, I have dibs on being her lawyer. I mean, I know I'm a dream, not a but question. like... <laughs> I thought wild. she just transformed. I did a wild shaped into a dog. You was noped out of that conversation. That was that. Red. Ah. Uh, uh, where was I? Oh yes. Um. Well. Uh. I mean. What happens now? Well, I guess you could try to make your way back to town, or you could probably just wait here for an escort. We were talking we about making a hole for her to hang out in, like a yeah. Oh yeah, you guys. Oh yeah, a, we can make a dome for her. You guys made a little protective hut for dome. Her. I forgot about that. Or like a in the yeah. hole, so that way she can get in and out, but no one else will notice that she's going in and out, kind of thing. Yeah, until, until we're done clear. doing what we're doing here. Because okay. there's patrols along the roads that we just avoided and didn't deal with, so... I mean... I'm sure she can figure it out, but... When the DM rolls. Um... Well, last session, somebody let off a thunderous clap that could be heard for 300 miles. 300 feet. 300 feet. 300 feet. Oh. feet. Very not, different. Not 300, Very different. 300 Very miles, different. dude, and we'd all be deaf and we wouldn't be able to hear ever again. Um. Hey, she's dead. That's Actually, all that would Actually, that would have been a good point for constitution saving, though, seeing as how you're in a tiny cave, but... It's yeah. also a rushing waterfall that would have definitely some of the sound. Yeah. It's fair. It's fair. Um, well, uh, I mean, you guys made me a small little hiding place, so I guess do what you gotta do, whatever it is you're gonna do. Don't tell me. I don't want to know the details. But I'll hide out and wait for you to return, hopefully. And when we all get back, when you get back to your job... You're going to need to help them go through their storerooms and figure out who's, you know, someone's been stealing your black powder and all that jazz. No, we stealing it. You know, we were there. Yeah. And but how they got and it. And there. there. And there. And there. Yeah. But she can also bear witness to, you know, validate our story that, you know, oh, yeah. dead in. Yeah. I'll, so I, I will totally support you guys in whatever acquisition ends up coming up. But I wish you all good luck and, um, I, I left some of the... You guys already took the small bombs that were off the uh, table. I think no. Did? I'm not 100% certain. Pretty sure. Mm. I thought no said she took them because she had the others that we were going to... Somebody did, but I don't know if I did or... Well, it's kind of at the end there. You took it because you have the rest of them, so... We'll just, yeah, we'll just say that you did. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. I mean... Here, have some bombs. Yeah. Okay. Here, have some it bombs. It was five. It's five of them. It was, um. one, it was 1d4 plus one of those little bombs, so... Oh, okay. 
It wasn't very many, but... Hey, those things are handy. Yeah. We also have the, we have the key for the door, don't we? Or a key we that have we assume key goes to the door? That is magic as well. No. The key no. was normal. The ring and the axe are magic. Oh, okay. The door, I mean, we can try the key on the door. If the key don't work, I guess we can just rip the door out of the mountain. Or we can use these handy dandy bombs and what? big bada boom. Yeah, but we can save them because we have mold earth and we can just go. You guys also remember that there is a chimney system that is farther a little way. To lower me down. <laughs> yeah. Three um, tugs that need you to pull quick. <laughs> quickly, quickly. All right. So what are you doing? Um, figuring how to add these in. So Here's the key you guys the already um, healed up hit dice or... I was going to say, did uh-huh. anyone heal their hit dice? And... Uh-huh. Yep, I did make some healings. No, okay. Yeah, so... Because we short rested, so. Can we not just use the rule that we leveled so we automatically heal and mm. considered a long rest? And <laughs> no. oh, come right. on! Video game rules, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Video game rules. Although that Mid-fight little, level. That little, that little back back has come in clutch in so many video games I've played where I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm gonna die. Ding. Never yeah. mind. Ding. Nope, I'm so, fine. Never nope. mind. Oh, You're gonna die. die. Just keep farming the ads that the boss is spitting at you, so you can. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, so are we just gonna go through the front door? I mean, I certainly not, try. Right? I mean, we for it. We might as well just use well, the key. Well, try the key. Okay. Not not. Worst case scenario, we still have a pretty key. Mm. All right. Um, to some bit, maybe. So. Yeah. Can the rogue check for traps before we try the key? Would the rogue like to check for traps? Yes, I just have finally got the bombs added to my inventory. <laughs> <laughs> She's busy doing some stuff. It's Learning. No, I don't have anything in my inventory. Uh, it's, it's not that hard. I, there's, there's a fairly easy way to do it. I figured it out. I just yeah. had, to, had to figure out where I was, what I was doing. Alright. Checking the door. Sure. Go ahead and make an investigation check. Oh, excuse me. You know you can slide those over. Yeah, you, you just slide you the screen. Swim. Uh, that way, a little more. There you go. That's what I've been doing. I haven't tested anything. Seventeen mm, plus a lot. six, so uh, twenty-five. Twenty-five. Eight, no, no, twenty-three. Twenty-three. Wrong direction. No, we went the right direction, just too far. Mm-hmm. Overshot it a little bit. I did fourteen, yeah. and then I went up and put it down. Yeah. yeah. All right. Wait, what did you say? 23. <laughs> One over the DC. Um, or no, that's for something else. Yeah. No traps. Um, you check the you check for cracks in the door. It's pretty airtight. Like, there's no... Nothing there to be able to pretty much fit anything. It is completely clear. So, trying the key, and if the key don't work, I can either mold earth or I can pick it, or... Yeah, we can figure it out if the key don't work. All right. So you guys take the lead uh, key that was on Skin's body, and it fits perfectly into the door's keyhole. Opening. Okay. Need a bit. bit. <laughs> Just trying to peek at the face. No, that's crack. crack. <laughs> oh, you're uh, there you crack for you. Okay. So you turn you turn the key, and you can hear the tumblers click click, and the handle is actually like basically dug into the steel door so it's you just reach in there and grab hold and it makes kind of a low creaking sound as metal hinges grind on more metal what if does anyone have grease (laughs) cast grease on the door that would would be hilarious (laughs) druid crap some grease I feel like I should be able to just saying and you crack it open just a wee bit Okay. Here we go. So you open the door, and what you see is a hallway. Um, go ahead and make perception, just to check to see if anybody's down there. Twenty-two. So what you see is um, a hallway that has been, um, 
it's not uh it's not worked earth it's a natural cavern it looks like somebody has basically come in here with a pickaxe and just dug it out um and it stretches for about 50 feet and at the end you can see that it that it forks or excuse me how your 60 feet okay um so you can see that it forks uh one way goes left and the other keeps going straight. Um, at the end, at this fork, you can see low lantern light that gives this kind of ominous glow off the rough stone. Um, you can smell burned coal and wet earth and and refuse that just is permeating the air here. Um, you can hear uh, down the way is this echo of like. Um, like different conversation, um, and it's 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 multiple conversations that you're just picking up a couple of words of that seem to echo off of the walls. So it's kind of hard to determine which one is which or what they're talking about. Um, but the tunnel splits up, and one goes, yeah, one goes uh, straight, and the other turns left. So, scout, straight or left. I find a bat. <laughs> <laughs> I was we pray say, it is the same bat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if, I, I don't know how everyone is on spell slots, but pass without a trace of them that Heidi Heidi can, you know, preemptive scout and shouldn't be seen, but. Well, she has advantage. Are you seriously finding a bat, and are you guys rolling stealth? If she's going to scout ahead, we yeah. don't particularly have to worry about it, yeah. but. Well, we it's can... a ritual, so I don't have to waste a spell slot. There you go. But, I mean, we can kind of work our way quietly, or... That's like the thing I showed you the other day. We can go in and not be seen, or we can go in and only one of us be seen kind of thing, so... I mean, even with Pass Out of the Trace, it's still just a straight roll. Yeah, for us two. Yeah. But, you uh, can't... Have... Worth trying. Well, no, it's still disadvantage for us, too. Because it doesn't give us advantage, right? Just plus 10. Yeah, my straight roll is because I was invisible. Correct, it was just close Yeah, he was yeah, also Because he, he was invisible. That's why he had a straight roll, yeah. so. I mean, I say we send the scout, but do we want to stealth, or do we just kind of want to wait well, and follow? Well, she can scout ahead, and then Yeah, but we'll we don't know follow. how deep these tunnels go. I mean, yeah, you can hear talking, but where exactly go pretty far. Well, I mean, like, we'll just be how we were in right. the forest and just 30 feet behind. No, that way that if... Do, are we going to roll chance. for stealth, or...? I'll cast Pass Without a Trace. Oh, boy! Still at disadvantage, so but give me that, give me that plus, plus 10. 10. Plus 10. Give me that... Actually... Okay, yeah, give me that plus 10. Let's... Let's do this here. I'm just gonna write them down now, so I don't forget. God them. damn it! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, rocks and pillars. They're not painted, but rocks and pillars. I, I gotcha. It was a Boulder. roller coaster for me. Yeah, yeah my two, my, my my good one was eighteen. My good one was a natural twenty. <laughs> yeah. My go, bad one was a five. Let me go ahead and grab some minis that way you guys can have a good uh, my bad one visualization of yeah. what's going on here. So I'm at, I'm at 17. It's now a hot mess because Logan... Uh, I think I'm okay. Well, yeah, you should. I mean... <laughs> yeah, 36. So I think I'm all okay. right. You're not ill, Rana. Don't tell me what I am and I'm not. Oh, you're alone. She's an octagonal base. It should be fairly easy to find. Okay, well, this is a hot mess. I'm just saying. Okay, well, it was nice and organized before Logan got bored. I love you. used Morzog for every bad guy ever. Yes. Yeah, right. But now we can use Morzok for you now. Morzok. Yay. Duh. He's conveniently large. He is. Oh, someone needs to remind me to bring the one that actually has both his swords attacked. Where I do like the kind of shattered sword. But there he is. One, two, three, four. Don't, don't, don't talk to me. <laughs> when we leveled up, I took stealth and sleight of hand as my two to add to 
Your expertise? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I have now a plus 11 in stealth. Ooh. With advantage. With advantage. I have cloaked. plus 11 in my nature. Oh, plus 11. Jack! But I hit things, so... I got a plus 9 in athletics, about as good as it gets. What's going on, bud? I don't know. Is there someone out there? Is there a delivery truck? Are you expecting one to go there? a car I've never seen before. Do you want me to answer the door? Or me. Oh. Was Amazon delivery you doing great? Mail time. It's a car I've never seen before. That's a UPS truck. <laughs> yeah, it was, no, it big was a UPS truck. It was one of those big black Dodge vans. Oh, that, that the Amazon Prime vans. Vans, okay. yeah. <laughs> You know, it's, like, it's funnier. It usually ends up in the action truck, movies though. before you get to <laughs> FedEx. Yeah. I've never seen a UPS car either. To be I've, never seen, I've never seen that car before. It's like school. <laughs> 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 it rolls really high into the deception. Oh boy, more murder. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's just ice cream truck with the sounds full blast. I mean, you guys kind of are in the. It's a harder She's running down the street chasing cars. I want ice cream! Okay. Alright, so. Into an ice cream truck. They make good bad guys. Regardless of the fact that they're probably not actually skeletons. Yeah, they play on cold dead hands or yes, I don't know. And yeah. Figure it out. Yes, hi. Yep. Okay, hi. so. Yep. Pass without mm -hmm. traces cast, yes? Mm hmm. Yep. And note is going first? Yep. Mm hmm. Alrighty. Alright, nope. I rolled all together 34 and stuff. Can you see this? Yes. Okay. This is what you're looking at. You got 50 feet of hallway, and you got deviations. You rolled how much on stealth? 34. God damn. Rogues, man. All right. Where are you going? I'm going to go toward the cross, where it goes, and I'm just going to gonna look down to see what's down. On what? Yeah. Okay. What's your passive perception? Mm. Or would you like to roll a full-on perception check? Mm. Hold on. Are you going to go back to the first page? Probably. Uh, let's go back My passive perception is 16. Okay. Uh, actually, that's just enough. So, as you peek... 30, yeah, 34. Yeah, you're fine. Um, as you kind of peek around <laughs> I'd the hope. This was a cavernous wall, you see down in the middle of... Let's see, it's... You see down in the middle of this cavern, right about where I put this rock, um, there is a crossbow that is mounted on like a weird kind of like half a pillar that is just pointed down the ways okay. and is facing your direction. So is it if it's facing directly at me or just down the... It's just facing down this way. Okay. Well, I'm going to use my, you know, my... Me chant? Well, I can do that, but I was going to let them know with my lovely pictures that oh. there's a... Yeah, what's coming up? Is there, <laughs> there's saying, point. Yeah. Crossbow! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you, so you send, you send an illusion <laughs> to the party to yeah. show them? Okay. To let them know. And then, how far away is it from me? Uh, about 35 feet. I'm going to hug the wall. I'm going to check in for tripwires, and then I'm going to... Move Check up. Trip. Yeah, move okay. up five feet. If right. there aren't any. Oh, go ahead, go ahead and make an investigation first. Okay. To check for. Well, that don't count that as a roll. Roll that dice. <laughs> Actually, roll <laughs> with Actually purpose. Roll, please. Thank you. Okay. With purpose. With, with gusto. <laughs> Preferably in the box. Wrong but... way. This was what? Investigation. Twenty even. Okay. Modified. You don't. You don't see any, like pressure plates or trip wires or anything like that it's just sitting on its own um so if i'm in 30 feet of it i'm going to use mage hand and i just want to take the bolt okay and float it with your mage hand coasts across the room and boink, pulls the bolt out the 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 string is still pulled back but the bolt is now out of the crossbow okay. wait go up I'm going up behind it at least. Yeah, let's let's move up the hallway. Marching order. Uh, I'll go first. 
I'll go second. I'm in the back. There we go, everybody. Alright, so if we're south come do I see anything up the the main I guess the the straightaway? Up this way? The yeah, the way the way I didn't turn down. Oh so you like didn't way? turn down? Yeah. Um it seems to kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to tell because it, it kind of curves. It's it, like, it comes up this way, but then it seems to kind of do one of these. Mm -hmm. So there's kind of like a hump right here that is hard to see past. Okay. Is there anything else past the ballista? Can you see that far? Like, is it just, the, is there just, a, is it a dead end with a ballista in it or is that just a middle? Um, this comes about another, like another, um, 15 feet this way and then turns uh, right so eventually they all go this way it's just yeah. a matter of do we this is this is all still natural cavern that's kind of reinforced by beams that are about 50 foot tall is there light in here or is it just we're going off dark vision um there was a light it was a cast an eerie or excuse me it's eight foot tall Good, you don't have to duck. Yeah. Well, he threw out like 50 foot a minute ago. Yeah, no. Like, um, um, so holy it's. Fuck. Let's go. So it's yeah. the, 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 so the support here, the or? support beams go along the wall. Hey, I have to duck in It's fast, 50. So. It's 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 a it's a cross. It's the the peak of the ceiling is is 10 foot, but it's a 50 foot long beam that is supported by other 8 foot beams mm -hmm. like this. You have I beams. Yeah. Um, and you're still you're still getting like that low orange light. Um, so it's kind of lit in here. You can you can see your. Uh, you all have dark vision, so you can all see the, your full length with color because it's not completely dark in here. Yeah. I I say we follow the path of the ballista first. If there's anyone down there, they wouldn't expect us to be coming from this direction without hearing it go off. Works to me. Sounds good. Right. Okay. Check for traps and continue on. <laughs> um, we'll just go off of your previous investigation for this hallway, and you proceed up the entirety of it, and there's nothing. So you follow this. I'm going to be moving you around a lot because the caverns change. They're also going to be back. Yeah, we're staying 30 feet back from her. Yeah, we're letting her scout ahead first, but so okay. we know where this hallway turns, we can kind of just prep up for the corner. Okay. Just for sake of changing shit. You... I should have made him split the party. <laughs> <laughs> Are we willing to throw the game to troll him? <laughs> I am. I don't know about y'all, but... So, you come to the I'll turn... Support. I'll just hide and leave. <laughs> oh, everybody's dead. Bye. Well, no, I'm more of, you know, making them have to figure out how to put everybody oh. and everything and map out with, you know, the limited visas if we were to split the party. So you come to the curve and find a... And uh, go ahead and make a perception check to see the room around the corner. 22. So from what you can see from this distance is a, um, you see a room that has multiple racks that span the middle of it. There's three. It's kind of hard to tell from your standpoint of like what they, what do they occupy? Um, but there seems to be three racks that just kind of line the middle here. Um. And as you continue to look, you see, like, a shadow kind of move from one of the, like, in-between walkways to another. Um, but it's kind of difficult to kind of tell exactly who or what it is. I'm going to send them an exclamation point. <laughs> and it's handy. Ultimate minor illusion yeah. mirror. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just put my hand around and go, woo. <laughs> right. What? I got a fun idea of what it is. Or bang and clear the room. Breach bang clear. <laughs> just stack up like SWAT team style, and I'll just take two of those little explosives and just yeah. light them with my tinder box and 
toss them and then we'll go. Well, we'll bang and clear a room. It depends on you, what's on the racks. Might be stuff we can yeah, that's fair. come in here. It might also be also be a big more room. yeah <laughs> more <laughs> explosions blow, which blow the whole. That's why we look, that's why we're around the corner and we I just do this yeah, and just throw it first. Let yeah. it go off first and see what happens. I mean, I, it, it's just. It was just a thought. I want to do it eventually. We're putting well, an awful lot of faith me, into fantasy land construction. Let me check right. and see what's here. in the room first, and then we can... Yeah, I was going to try to get... Your, your sneak's high enough. You ought to be able to get close enough to the room to see what's going on. I'm and gonna, then come back to us. Also, I'm going to check for traps and move forward. Alright, go ahead and... You're, you're still on a 30-something stealth, so just go ahead and roll investigation for traps. There's a 34. 34. Ooh. Oh, yeah, my stealth's not that high. But I thought hers was. Investigation. So that's gonna roll a nine altogether. Ooh, for investigation. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> you yeah. you you don't you don't seem to notice <laughs> anything. Right. But you yeah. walk up the individual that is currently walking, which I'll just give you. A, there. Uh, the individual that's walking the, these racks don't seem to notice any uh, notice you. What you do see is a guy that is. Um, it's not an it's not an automaton. It's a human. And he, or, well, humanoid. And he's currently in this, like, dark robe kind of outfit um, that's kind of open in the center. And you see, like, a little, uh, like, the showings of maybe, like, a leather breastplate. Um, the hood is pulled up, and a necklace kind of dangles around the uh, the neck. Can I tell what's on the racks? Am I close enough now? Uh, this is what you can surmise to be the armory, because the... Uh, entirety of the racks in the middle as, long, as well as hooks and loops that adorn the wall are filled with different uh, weapons and pieces of armor as well as maybe a couple of things that are like tools. Okay. Um, underneath one of the table or underneath the table uh, along the wall is also a large chest uh, and there's a door on the oh like, good, a door I can bang and clear. And there's a door like <laughs> yeah, right here. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go back to the party to inform them. And there's only the one person in the room? She only saw one. That I only saw one. But there's a door, so more could be coming. Yeah. Based on the layout, it seems like the other fork and that door would connect. Yeah. How, from the corner there of the hallway, how far is the dude from that corner? From here? Yeah. About 30 feet, but he's moving. That's fine. Um, so he might get closer or farther away as you guys wait. Yeah, we're, we're, I'm good with that. Um, I, I say we try to detain him. Let's not murder hobo everything here. Let's not murder hobo... Hey, you're a paladin. Knock it off. Hey, 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 hey. But, I mean... I got plenty of movement to catch him anywhere in that room, and I've been looking for something to grapple, so. And then we can kind of figure out the doorway and everything else. I could, how can, so, how packed is the stone and everything? Can I move? Well, we can get, detain him and kind of Well, just... I was going to say, I could block the door. The well, which, way did, which way does the door swing, though? Oh, well, it doesn't matter if there's if there's no if they open the door and there's just a <laughs> just a. It's like when you open wall. a door, like in a TV yeah, but show, you don't remember. Just <laughs> the hall, the hall. By the way, at the other end of the room, the hallway keeps there is another oh. hallway that keeps going. Oh, well, never mind. Sorry. Well, that's fine. That's I mean, yeah. I still say we detain him. Yeah. Not. I mean, we don't have to kill our way through everything. Now, if he puts up a fight, yes. Excuse we'll me, sir. His health inspector. Yeah. <laughs> I could. I were with him. No, it's just more of a giant lumbering <laughs> orc comes in and goes, shh, and you won't die. I could. We could just like hide around the corner, and I could make a sensory effect that makes him think that there's something over here for him to come investigate. And, and then we can just grab him on the corner. Just... I mean, I've got hold person, and if that little corner of the hallway is thirty feet ish. I mean, that's got 60 Well, and she can range. do sound, too, with her. Yeah, so if you, or we can team up and do it. Like, yeah. how, big your, how big are your, how big are what is it and how big is it? Just keep doing that. Uh, it's druid craft and it's five foot. But we also don't want Here. him going, hey, guys, we okay. hear other things. Well, and all I of a sudden it's four people and not one. Yeah, yeah well, that's over fair. to my spells. So I have. Whereas I'm sure we made a ruckus when we entered, you know. I mean, I, I can also do a smell. 
I have but a, that's I also a natural have gas. Image. It is a, it is a sensory effect, which I mean, you could you could do sound. Yeah. So I can also do silent image, which is a fifteen foot cube. So I could make an image of one of the bishops or something, one of the automatons, and we could follow it in. What's the... Uh, is it minor image? A uh, silent image. You create an Im- image of an object, creature, or some other visible phenomenon that is no larger than 15 foot cube. The image appears at a spot within range and lasts for the duration, which is... So you can't move Up it. to 10 minutes. Now, what do you have when... Actually, si- that? silent so image can, can be moved. Hmm? I was asking her on her sensory effect, what can be... What, she, what can't she do? It's just a harmless sensory effect. And then it gives examples such as falling leaves, puff of wind, sound of a small animal, faint odor. Yeah. It just has to fit a five foot cube. It's a cantrip, it's not a whole lot. Mm. But Yeah, so it's like kinda like the It's instant, so I can keep doing it if yeah. I really wanted. Well we can try to draw him over. If I go up to the corner and we try to draw him, if he doesn't instantly if he acts like he's gonna go for help or do something else. You can I just can, I can him. catch him. Yeah, yeah, I can catch him. There's no So. so as long as he doesn't touch the thing, it doesn't... He sh- well, move me up to the corner. And then someone do something to I'll try to, the to other, other wall. draw him this way. Like, put note behind me kind of thing. Like, back here. There we go. And then put me on that other wall behind William. Yep. Okay. And try to get him down here. And has to I'll do just, something. Yeah. I'll make the noise. Actually, I'll make the noise of the uh, crossbow going off. Okay. Which you've heard notes bow go off, which yeah. is not a, not an uncommon sound. No, that's a good one. So, you cast druidcraft. You said mm-hmm. so. You cast druidcraft and make the shum sound of a bow. And um, um, wow, he. Oh, well, Echo's his hallway. That's better. Um, so as you hear, as the sound goes off, you hear a, huh? huh? And he turns around. And starts walking your way. Full body starts, check him. He sta- <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> just full on key. Which, what was Lying your spell score? Just. Uh, dirty 20. Okay. Um, technically you lose stealth as you cast a spell, but mm-hmm. it was a cantrip, so it's like... Yeah. Meh. We're also going to subdue him. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's it's, it's, not, it's not going to matter. Drew, Drew casts a cantrip that I'm pretty sure you don't even need to speak for. So, uh, yeah. as he starts cresting around the kind of rough cavern wall... I'm going to grab him. I'm, I'm going to okay. try to subdue him. Right? Um... Yeah, he turns, gets like, damn near runs into your chest, and is like, wait, what the? Go ahead and make your grapple check. Are you hasting disadvantage because surprise? Are you has advantage because surprise? He, uh, uh, yeah, you could have advantage because surprise. Yeah, that didn't help me any. Uh, eighteen. I tried. Yeah, he he's not very strong. He rolled a thirteen base. Yeah. So as you, and you're covering his mouth? Yeah. Okay. So as he turns the corner, you hear a... And you have him in full body, just like the arms against the chest, (laughs) just... I'm just like... Yeah. He is, he is firmly in your grasp. Um... What are you doing? Well, we will, uh... Knock him out, tie him up? Yeah, knock, we'll, we'll knock him out and tie him up. Because I have him grappled, so a chokehold for my size ought to be fairly easy here, so... Okay. I um, mean, I can roll for it if you want me to. I, I just want, like, a base strength check out of you. I mean, I can just poison Nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, as you kind of, like, turn back to the group, and, you know, somebody if or everybody kind of makes the, you know... Hit mm-hmm. him on the head. <laughs> you just kind of let go of one arm, put it around his neck, and you hear... And he 
and he's out. Yay! Bind the gag the motherfucker. Did you know it takes where average is 30 minutes to choke someone to death? To death? To death. Damn. Actually, that isn't true. Done properly, it'll take a minute and a half. Because you're... you're... To make him pass out. Anyway! No, no. no. no, no not we're just definitely pass not going to... Not serve. just to pass out. <laughs> to knock someone out, it takes maybe 15 seconds with the proper pressure applied. To actually kill someone with a high with, with proper pressure, with you, which you like have a, a you have a, no, a plus right. four modifier <laughs> to <laughs> minute minute strength. Half. Yeah, like you're you're a big beefy motherfucker. He is out in yeah. literally seconds. And you guys have rope, you have cloth, you have the means to tie him up, bind and gag him. Mm-hmm. Um, She's a fucking Alpha. <laughs> Do we look like just gonna bury him up to his head in the corner? So <laughs> I mean, I'm asking the group. This is a legitimate question. I'm okay with that. I mean, that. I don't want to suffocate him to death. We we subdued him, you know. Well, then, we no, we come, then we have to come back for him. No, we don't. We, get, we'll, we, 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 can, we, we may forward. remember to come back for him, but... Because otherwise he'll starve to death. And, or he'll... <laughs> he's just, well, he's just going to get left in a fucking <laughs> stone cocoon. Okay. Yeah. That never to be found ever again. I mean, we can remember to come back for him, and then, you know... I'll make Cavern's a note. been clear. Someone make a note. Someone try to remember. I mean, we could just, you know, leave him a shovel, and... We'll just take, like... Figure, An hour at least out, to, to figure out, you'd think? Alright. So, burying him up to his head? Yeah. yeah. Alright. So that way he's not waking up, moving around, doing with, shit. With, uh, with the use of your guys' you know, ball gag. I mean, yeah, he's gagged. He's. Yeah. Sock. Yeah, sock. <laughs> yeah, more sock takes off his sock. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's, 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 isn't that like instant death? <laughs> he's just gonna choke on his own vomit at that yeah. point. Um,. So or you, with the or with the use of uh, mold earth, you guys are able to bury him easily, and he is passed the fuck out, not moving. Um, All right, let's let's move up and secure the room. Okay. Uh, note first or Morzog first? We'll note put first. note first, but I'm following closely behind just because we don't know what's coming down the other tunnel. Okay. Um. So three large ra- uh, three long racks occupy the center. Um, there's a a lantern that's just kind of like dangling Mm -hmm. from the ceiling in a couple of different places. Um, the walls are adorned with hooks and loops that hold digging tools, basic weapons, and a very mumble, jump, Mm -hmm. like very disorganized kind of thing. And there is a large chest, uh, beneath a table off in kind of the corner here. And then, uh, a door off over here. Is the door closed? Door is closed. So, if you you check door and we hold hallway... Sure. I mean, because we can stay out of sight of the long hall, but look yeah. down the longer hall. Yeah. And okay. then you can check door, and we can deal with that, then the room, then the hall. Okay. Probably proper order of shit here. And then we can shove everything in the bag. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, we can come maybe, back. Yeah. Well, maybe. I mean, useful things. I don't want the to useful shove things. Everything. I mean, I think we can sell. I mean, I don't, I don't we can almost get everything else on the way I don't back. want to Skyrim smithy this where we're selling a thousand daggers just because we wanted to up our skills kind of thing. <laughs> Why not? Just gonna move you guys up and make, make sure so, it's she's going to be at the door. Who is? No. Note. Note. Door. And then I'm going to move up and hold the hallway. This hallway? Yeah. Okay. So put me, at, put me on a corner. Yep. Because I don't know what everyone else is doing. Alright. Put me at the chest. Chest. I mean, if you, if you I'll start to uh, walk into racks, trying to see if there's anything worth it. Okay. I damn. Put me. Try, do, do our best to kind of stay out of the side of the other hallway yeah, yeah. for the time being. So put me around, like just around the corner. Like here? Uh, like off in the corner? Or? Like, I think he's going to guard the hallway. Around the first corner. Back there by the crossbow. Oh, that corner. Gotcha. See the gotcha. Crossbow? And then like around that. Gotcha. So he's, hold, he's holding the there you go. people yeah. coming up behind us. Mm-hmm. Okay. Covering your ass. Gotcha. I get it. All right. So, you have thoroughly secured this section. Mm-hmm. Yes. Nobody is getting in or out. <laughs> <laughs> That's the idea. All right. Um, Not without losing their life. We'll start with uh, you. Go ahead and make investigation. Um, what would you like to do? We're doing order of operations. She goes first. Sure. I'm checking the door to see if it is locked or if it is Investi- trapped or anything. Investigation. Like I got a 13. the door. Okay. Um, as you walk to the racks, it's kind of like it kind of is just a condensed version of the rest of the room. Uh, right. There's like short swords, long swords, bows that are just kind of like shoved in different places and leaning over and places they don't fit. And it's like 
There's not really a good... I'm just kind of haphazard. Yeah. Um, right. Nothing looks crazily awesome about this. This all seems just kind of like, you in know... General Armory, they come in, dump their weapons. Probably the discount rack weapons, and some blacksmiths. So there are no pretty rocks that I can use. No, okay. no, no, That's no, fine. no pretty, no pretty rocks, rocks, no shiny, shiny swords. swords. I have pretty rocks, so ask me about them later. <laughs> Jeff writes a note. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. They don't remember this. There are pretty rocks. And then a question mark. I feel like the notebook that you're just writing in is like your memoir of as Jethro looked through the racks, there wasn't nothing, mm-hmm. nothing interesting. Not Harry Harrington. <laughs> okay. Um, so as he's searching through the racks, note. You rolled 24. 24. Uh, the door is locked. There is no pretty traps. Rough. Well, you're out of combat. You ought to be able to pick it easier than in combat. <laughs> True. Yeah. <laughs> Throwing small amount of shades. At least I wasn't rolling ones. Are you? What are you? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pick the law. Okay, go ahead and roll thieves tools. Okay. So oh, I rolled an 18, but what am I? What is these tools? 18 is exactly what you needed, but these tools is your proficiency and your dexterity on top of your roll. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah so that's what. 18 is exactly what you needed. Yeah, that would be 20. What's no, your 31. Proficiency? My proficiency is plus, plus three. three. Yeah. Are you? Do you have? Well, no. And then so that and dex, so that's eight on top of that, so that's 626. Yeah. So you get it unlocked. As she's putting her tools into the thing, and you can tell this is like this is a pretty well-made lock, but you know you you see how it's set up, and you start just going and going to town on it. As she's unlocking the door, what are you doing all along? Making sure that's not a you know Mimic? dumbass is behind it. <laughs> but then yeah, I'm checking this out to make sure it's not you know a creature. Okay. Um, don't touch it. You poke it with something first. <laughs> See if it's tacky. <laughs> I take one of the useless weapons behind me and tap it. Okay, so you start poking the chest. Normal chest? Nothing, okay. nothing happens. Okay, you open it, it may be locked. Can you open it? It may be locked. That's fair. This is awesome. Um, as you kind of like tug it out from underneath the table a little bit, you actually see that it isn't locked. It's got like the loop and, and thing for a lock, but there is no lock on it. Okay. You gonna throw it open? Yep. You flip it open and you find, um, at first glance, you find a, um, you weren't at the prison, um, you find a set of leather armor, um, a, a pair of short swords, and a, um, a bow, a long bow. Um, but as you start digging through and you're kind of like, you know, oh, look at this, and then kind of pulling stuff out, you find another longbow and a satchel and a quiver and a familiar duster a long leather coat oh they capture your who's this fuck who's this fuck Arcus ah cause that was his duster way to go nerd Um, it seems that the satchel has been mostly cleaned out of, like, his usual provisions of, like, rations and rope and whatnot, but you do find, uh, his quiver of arrows, including his dragon slayer arrow. Yay! Forgot, what does that duster do again? Um, it is... Because even if it's not useful, we can sell it. Because it is magical in nature, and that shit sells well. So. Good job. It's my body. Yeah, trust me, I understand. I should have fucking bookmarked it. Oh, it's called the Hunter's Coat. Because I don't think any of your notes kind of bow shit with you, right? I don't remember what it is. I mean, I could use it, but it's... Yeah. I don't believe the bow is magical, because I don't think he got to that point. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think it did. I think it was, uh... 
his old character did something to it, but I think Walter. it was yeah, Walter yeah. did something to it, but I think it was mm -hmm. specific to the person. What's what's the best for you? Um, it's a plus one to AC, and it holds three charges. And whenever you hit a person with an attack, you can expend a charge to deal one d10 necrotic damage. There's a couple different people in the party you could yeah. technically wear it. It yeah. regains 1d3 expended charges at dawn, and it requires a 2 Does it count as armor? Mm -hmm. it's, it does? It's, it's leather armor. Interesting. It's kind of like a Wild West duster looking yeah. coat with little lapels. Um, seems a little tattered and... Yeah. But we can bag it in the air and everything until we're out of here. Stick them in the back of holding. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you shove everything in the back of holding. Um, I'll let everyone know that, you know, hey, our juice is probably, you know, okay. somewhere. Um, because you bring attention yeah. to it, somewhere. you two, uh, Morzog and uh, Jethro, you recognize the other stuff that she had pulled out of the chest? Um, this stuff belonged the to the bounty, hunter? the bounty hunter that you guys talked to at the prison. Yeah, the one that's... Oh, I'll get there first. Well, it looks like you got here first, but you didn't do very well. <laughs> didn't work out well for you. Yeah, apparently not. Um, so, anyway, note, you unlock the door. And what you find... It's a broom closet. Mm -hmm. Just a really hefty lock. Really hefty. There's about a five foot set of stairs that seem to be kind of formed out of the natural, like it's not an actual like step 90 degree angles, it's like they just cut it to where you had a little bit of steps. Uh, it's about three steps down to where you find a, um, what's basically a storeroom. Um, there are multiple like satchels and barrels and boxes in here. Um, all of them seem to be pretty closed. I wonder if I found the boom. Um, check it. I want to check for traps and go in. Okay. Um, and go ahead and roll investigation. You never know. Right. Hey, that's your job. Check for traps. I was going to say, you're going to be rolling a lot of investigation because you're checking for traps constantly. 16 plus 6, 22. Okay. You don't see any traps. Um, but as you start investigating, looking through the barrels and stuff, you pull one of the barrels off, uh, or the lid off, and... Um, uh, this is full of black powder. And you pull another one, and that's full of black powder. And you open up a box, and that's got a, a collection of the small bombs. And you look around, and you're like... Found all the black powder. <laughs> if I fart a flame, we all go up in smoke. How heavy are the barrels? Um. How big around are the barrels? They're, they're about average whiskey barrels. Like, you know, mm -hmm. got a put your okay. thing. But it's probably somewhere around like a hundred-ish pounds. Maybe a little more. Okay. How much can you carry? Probably about the same as me. Well, I was thinking we could put it in the back of holding, but it's too big around. You can put all the little, the the li all the little can, stuff in there. Yeah, you can yeah, put the little stuff in there. Is there only two barrels? Um, How many barrels? This, this, this place is lined with the stuff. Well, um, it's only a 30-foot room. Mm-hmm. Well. It's five-foot barrels, 30-foot room. I say if we take what we can, we block off the rest. Which, well, I we're going to take all of it. I actually... I turned this long ways. Technically, it's 25 foot deep and about 15 foot wide. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, But like the whole same dimension, still entirety the entirety of everything is just lined with. I want a number, boss. Oh shit! Of how many barrels? Yeah. And someone needs to write this down because we are going to take this. Yeah. This is about six barrels of black powder. Oh. Some fun. I can also carry one. Oh, How? We're going to have a lot of fun. Or, excuse me. Mm 
I guess we should just ask a full inventory of the yeah. room. <laughs> it's it's five it's five barrels. Five barrels? Five barrels of black powder. Okay. And then how many barrels of the bombs? Um uh, or the boxes of bombs or whatever they are. Or well, the barrels or oh, yeah. boxes of bombs. It's it's twenty pouches of uh blasting powder. Which you guys already have like two pouches of it. Yeah. So you have twenty more. Yeah, there we go. Plus the barrels. Yeah, yeah. So Can I fit it in the bag of holding? The pouches? Yeah. No no. Well, I mean I know I can fit that. The barrels. Uh you, you probably can't it's get five the foot it's five foot. Just thing. to make sure. Nobody is using any kind of torch or anything, correct? No. 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 We've all been we've using our own. Vision. Yeah, we've all been using our dark vision because of this purpose, pretty much. But how big is the opening for the bag of holding? Five foot. Is it, was it a five foot radius or a five foot diameter? It's five foot, foot diameter. It's five foot diameter. I mean, you could. It's a big I, diameter. I, I want. We could take. We could put three in there. I want to. We can fit five hundred pounds worth of things. I you understand. want to carry two? Yes. I'm going to tie them together. You want to know what my carrying oh capacity is? No, no, I know what your carrying capacity is. That's not the question. The question is taking up arm space. No, no, no. I'm thinking Fluffernutter just on a oh. grand scale. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. So I figured I'd take two or three and tie them together. Backpack. Boom, boom, backpack. <laughs> yeah. And just kind of carry it with us. And then if we need them, make it just kind of be a... Open. Woo! Boom. Maybe we just take the small bombs and not the giant barrel of black powder that would make, literally make, topple giant, the make, mountain. Make, intel- make an intelligence check, please. Oh, who, me? Yes. Oh, I know those up. Oh, that's got it. 13? Um, you gather that if you were to put this backpack on you to use for later, you don't know what the rest of this cavern holds. Oh, I and this could go up on you oh, and on the party and it, with a barrel this size. I'm in front of them. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She, Thanks. We have, we have pre-scout and then you're, I have three other talk, people. You're talking, you're talking, if this goes up while it's on your back, your insides are mush. Your entrails become your extrails. Pain? That's a pain. <laughs> yeah, but fluffer are on a grand scale. I get it, but <laughs> mountain goes boom. We're all fucked up. Because it's it's four d twelve blood. Because I'm I'm upping this because I put you in this at higher levels. It's four d twelve bludgeoning, and half of that as uh, piercing because of the shrapnel from the barrel. Per barrel. Per barrel. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. But atta- a- attached. I mean, in theory, if, I it's, if it's attached to his back, he doesn't get a deck saving yeah, throw. Yeah, no, you're fucked. Well, I didn't say put it on my back. I can just carry it. But... Could, like, have Either like, way. a fanny pack. <laughs> <laughs> fanny pack. I was saying, just we could take barrels. the tiny, tiny pouches. There's, we'll have 26 of them. What if we just, like, come back for these? Well, that, we're going to anyway. I mean, uh, we can, I uh, will. We can stick them in the bag of holding now. Yeah, but how much do they have in the bag of holding? Just, just everything actually fit? Because it does matter. You only have... How much do they weigh? You said, like, 100 yeah, pounds each. You said 100 pounds a piece, so that's 500 pounds. Okay. In. That exceeds everything else that we have in there. I mean, we have other shit in there, don't we? I mean, yeah, we can take the pouches and carry them personally and not have the rest of, you know, shit blowing up. And we can always come back for this. The good news is if we wanted to talk about yeah, the mountain, we can, yeah, we can, we can just throw just a bomb into door. this room. But, but think fluffer nutter and a giant banging clear room. Just. I have roughly 50 pounds worth of things. It's in bit. So we're going to be a little okay. short, but. I can carry the other ones out at the end of the day. Well, maybe we could put four in, you'd have to carry one. Yeah. I mean, but we can empty the bag and carry the, the 50 pounds with stuff. That's true. Us too. That's another option. I am so wrong. Uh, yeah, I know. About? The weight of the barrel. Mm-hmm. How much do they weigh? But he... Five, it's 500 pounds a barrel. Yeah. Because oh. it's the equivalent of a whiskey barrel full of sand. Yeah. You said 100, though. We're going yeah, 100. Yeah, no. I, I did. That, that, and really I knew he was wrong when he pitched that, mm-hmm. but he pitched that, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to have some fun. So maybe these are little barrels. No, so three three gallons. barrels. Still or one gallon one. barrels. I can, still, I can carry yeah. two. I mean, I can get them out. It's just... 
Uh, we'll leave him here for now. We'll take the pilot's whistles. We'll leave these here for now. We'll be. Okay. We'll block the door that way. I. We get the fuck out after taking the. Uh, okay. The pilot's whistles. Was, was there any of the. the boom balls? Bombs. Okay. No. no Just those, the seem, those seem to be things that were made, being freshly made. Okay. There is no reserves for it. It's just the straight up powder. We'll take the blasting powder, and then between everyone else, when we go to leave this place, we'll free the dude from the thing, and you know, take the barrels with us. As we we'll and then we create the scene from, from the Dark Knight where they put Rachel in the room full of bombs. Yes. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, as everyone leaves out of this door, mm-hmm. close the door. I shape water and freeze the door. That works. That is a five foot cube that lasts for an hour. So, and it's a cantrip. So you have a five foot thick block of ice that is sealing this door shut. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Do we also want to rock it? I mean, we can. Rock Good luck ch- chipping through a five foot cube of but ice. The pro- but well, the problem is, the only issue with that is, is yours will only last an hour. If we get held up going through here, or it's longer than we think. That's fair. I mean,. I, I love the idea. Think you want. Yeah, I mean, I double, love the idea. Double it. That way, if they somehow get through the rock, <laughs> they're like, oh, we're trying to get what the fuck? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They get through the rocks and it's just solid ice. They're like, what the shit? And they can't melt it because they just blow themselves up. Yep. Yeah. Ice is just water rock. Here, we'll just use water. fire magic to get through this. <laughs> yeah. And then the Fire Nation attacks. Yeah. 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 <laughs> sure and then they. Die. You just hear a distant boom, and the whole ground shakes. Like, oh, some new melted ice. We'll just, we'll just, yeah, we'll just try to make. We'll leave the ice there, and then we'll try to make the wall look like wall across. That way, if someone knows the door's there, they can get figured out. So ice plus they plus yeah, stone. Yeah. They just completely. No, nope, nobody's getting nope. in. Yeah, this. we're gonna, we're gonna nope this completely. Okay. Just, just, just for nope. our protection and everyone else's shed. Let's just nope okay. this completely. All right. So, moving on. Uh-huh. Are you which which way are you going? You're going back. No, you we'll, we'll, we'll keep tree, progressing forward. You're going to keep going forward. Okay, we'll keep progressing forward until in the same manner that we've been doing so yes. far. Yes. No. The, then same marching order. Did his search of the room come up with any? No, it was no, all. No, I generic. didn't find any cool rocks. No, uh, didn't find anything cool. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately. So as you leave that room, kind of takes a right hand curve. Before you notice that, because notes in front, um, it takes a curve to where you can go left, and it's like a really sharp angle, or you can keep going up. Mm, well, I'm going to peek down the left one and see if I see anything. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make a. Or what year pass of 16. Oh. Okay. Um, as you look into this room down here, uh, you see a kind of dimly lit room with a with dark flooring. And that is it. Is it empty, from what I can see? From what you can see. And then if I look down the, the hall... The other way? Yeah. The rest of that goes about 40 foot down, and you see a couple of tables. Oh, um, so that goes into break room. With... Mm-hmm. You do see a couple of people at one of the tables. A couple as in two, or a couple as in... As, as in like three. So a few. Few. Few couple. A mm-hmm. couple is two. Few a few couple ish. A couple is like five to me or something. Some. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright. The other day was six months ago to me, so I mean. English language. Yeah. Um. Let's see. They have booty sneak. So we probably need to go take care of the people first. <laughs> wait. Wait. You. What now? They have booty sneak. Booty sneak? Yeah. I'm just... Okay. As the person in the house who uses that term, why are you yeah. surprised no by it being that's, used? I don't know. That's funny. Anyway. Our sneak is trash. <laughs> uh, 
Um, you, 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 you. Just to make sure I'm keeping track. Okay. So you're doing what now? Um, I'm also so gonna go. The people are right. People over here. Yes. And your room over here. The break dancing room <laughs> over there. And now this is the same level, or is there one going up, going down, left, right, center? No, everything has been pretty. Oh, okay. flat. There's no, no change in elevation. Nope, no change well, in elevation. I'm Ball going to send stairs. them Except an image stairs. of a cross, and then on the one side, it's just going to have three little stick figures, <laughs> and then in the other one, it's just going to have a square with a question mark. Okay. Boss. I'm I'm loving this like text messaging of like yeah. this, yeah. these yeah. emojis. Yeah. This is how we move without. I mean, communicate via emoji. I well, haven't taught them hand signals yet. That's yeah. literally yeah. That's literally <laughs> what you're getting is you're getting like text messages via just emojis. Since but, you know, instead of a text, it's just like. A <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna send them an picture, a picture of you know. Little, I guess it's gonna be a little, little bird. Me, going up to empty room. Bird emoji equals empty. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna break so I can. <laughs> so and I'm going to check for traps and move into the towards so the empty. So if she's going to go into the empty room, I want to be on this side, my towards me okay. of that hallway, so they can't see me. Like I'm looking back around the hallway. No, 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 no. Other side. Does that does that go straight from where she is, like straight forwards towards me? Does that go right into the room? Or is there like a hallway where I can get into that corner and the, look down that hallway, the longer hallway? The, yeah, this has like a, just a very slight curve, and because of the natural wall, there's like little parts that kind of cubby a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, it's not enough, you know, room to put on a map of like a five foot square, but yeah, it's something that you could probably like. What I'm trying to say though is where that little where our walkway kind of like snakes there, and that room is in front of here, like towards mm -hmm. me, right? Yeah. Is that the room there, or is that walk? Is that pathway? This is bird. pathway. This is, is just this straight, into, is this that is just straight into the room. Yeah. yeah. Still, so I can get on towards this side of that corner, going this way. Mm -hmm. Around the corner, this way, a little further. There you go. Because she's going to be moving up in front of me to check the room. I want to be on this corner to make sure no one comes up this oh, way. Gotcha. Okay. So, there you go. I understand now. Yes. All right. So, I'll get him there. It just takes a minute. I so, play Tarkov with him enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be in the other corner, just peek around. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna hold corners as we move through. Okay. Because I don't want to send a note off into so, a scary room and then all of a sudden a note just and, disappears. You know. So as you come into this room, Squawk. yeah, <laughs> Squawk. Uh, Orc for help. <laughs> go ahead and roll investigation. I'm pretty good today. 19. 19? Okay, not bad. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, uh, it strains into a square walled cavern 40 feet long by 20 feet wide. The floor is covered in iron, and the ceiling is about 10 foot high. And beyond the, or er, yeah, beyond this, uh, this room, whenever the iron floor ends, uh, the pathway turns back into the rough stone and turns south. Um, Giving us final directions. You notice that the that the uh, the floor has a, a like a groove that bisects it um, lengthwise. How much do you weigh? She checked for traps the whole way, I would like to mention. Yeah, she did. One moment. You it's less go, than 100 pounds. You have to go to your description. Description. So I'll just scroll over to all the reading description. Mm -hmm. So she's a tiny thing. Yeah. Features and treats. And then you'll have like, to scroll It's got to be less than 50. It'll be your height and everything will be listed towards it's the bottom. It's a weight thing. I think my loot can do levitate. <laughs> That's That's not there. Uh, there oh, one. sorry. It'll be under your characteristic here. 97 pounds. Oh, wow. Because I'm 4'6". You weigh 97 pounds? Yes. Okay. So you did you did check for traps. A and as you go in, there is no there's no wires, there's no pressure plates, no nothing. Um, but as you start walking in and you, your full 97 pound weight is put onto this floor, um, 
Go ahead and roll a dexterity saving throw for me, please. Because as you put your full weight on this on this uh, floor, the iron floor starts to move and open. Fifteen. Down there. Oh, wait, wrong one. Eighteen. That, okay. <laughs> wrong one. <laughs> yeah. So, as you, how far you think you made it? About you just went five foot in to check, or? I didn't go very. I mean, I was just walking into the room. I didn't specify how far I went in. How far before the floor starts to move? Well, it's it's as as <laughs> you get like the whole you know, way. So yeah. yeah, it's as you get your full weight on it. So, so two feet, two steps yeah. in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, as you put your full weight and it starts to move, you immediately like take a jumping back roll back into the rest of the cavern. As whenever this gets fully open, you see that now the iron floor is now water, and it is a uh, a deep tank. Um, Watch what you say. That yeah, is. What's in the water? <laughs> we should just stick our head in and see. Yeah, that's cute that you can breathe in water, but there's things in water that can eat you. Yeah, it's a. I live like, for cracking throat. Deep, I'll be alright. It's mm-hmm. a it's a deep pool of water where you see three sharks. Are oh, just, friends. <laughs> just moving around as the as the thing opens. Huh? What kind of shark? Reef shark. Oh, okay. All right. That's fair. You you would know that. Well, you have no clue. You just true. see that <laughs> large <laughs> dorsal fin, and you're like, nope. Hold on, I just, I just I just I just want to look at something. Uh, it's still, you yeah, still heard 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 that, like, no. My animal handling is minus one, so I should definitely think they're dolphins. <laughs> 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 yes. You you send you send her a picture of a three shark emojis three and then little sharks okay <laughs> three and then teeth yeah <laughs> Jeff throws down the android so I think the dolphin emoji instead yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> you play the fucking you play the baby shark song in her head no <laughs> I, I play the baby shark song <laughs> I will break your loot uh, <laughs> snap it over my knee I so you sent you sent the emoji that there are three sharks in the direction that note is. How wide is this thing, and is there room around the edge, or is it wall to wall pit? Okay. Um, really? It is. You're the one who's just in the. It looks like the uh, the floor opens up and leaves about a ten foot gap at the end. Oh, that's, so that's plenty. Yeah. Or, but this or, is a fifteen foot room. No, it's twenty by forty. 25, 40, and 10 foot tall. There's a 10 foot gap on each side. It's yeah, you, so if you if you were to somehow make it from where you're sitting to jump across, you would be able to kind of like walk alongside. So it's but not like all mo- the way but most of, But most of the, of the, or excuse me, 20 by 40, so there's a 5 foot lip. So yeah, if you were to jump across, you would be able to walk across to get to the other side. So it's. So there's foot. another room on the other side. So it, it, like it the turns back continues. into the cavern. It's another okay. walkway that turns. So, is the five foot all the way around, or is it just on the sides? It's or? just on the sides. Oh, okay. How far is the jump from the entryway to the? Like, where is the entryway sitting directly in the middle of the room? Yeah, it's in the middle of the room. So you'd have to. It's a ten foot jump. Oh no. I'm going to argue that. How wide is the tunnel going in? It's 20. You How wide is the five. tunnel going in? Mm-hmm. Five foot tunnel? Or five foot opening, I it's, suppose? It's a 10 foot tunnel that leads into a 20 by 40 room. And the doorway is in the center. So it'd be at the 15. So at the most, it's like on five feet gap on each side, of between wall and the edge of the entryway. Yeah. So so we 40 long or 40 wide. 40 long. So 40 long. So so it's a 20 foot room. So you have take five five off a five foot jump if you position yourself correctly. Yes, you take five off either side. So that's a 10 foot. You know, gap all together, and then you're on more a ten-foot wall. You can literally just kind of yeah. shape so, water freeze it. Yeah, water. I mean, yeah. There, but he's like, it's a ten-foot jump, and I'm like, 
The tunnel is ten foot. Like you guys have ways to get around this. Yeah. We're just gonna leave. Jackals. We're, we'll come back to this. I mean, we're coming back this way for the gunpowder and everything, anyways. So I mean, if we can. Don't want to get surrounded. Is my point. Yeah, Shall we go? True. I mean, I'm gonna go down and start scouting the tunnel towards the people, checking for traps along the way. Okay. Yes. Um. So. Um. I'll just use your previous investigation that you made. Okay. Uh, you don't find any traps setting up. And in this room. It is a about a seventy foot long room with three tables inside with uh, three people sitting at one, seeming to converse over a plate of food. Mess hall. But is there any openings other than this one? Or you see on the microwave (laughs) fridge. Thirty. Over here is a double door. Over here is another hallway. And this part actually you get through like a five foot gap before it splits one way and then another. I'm gonna send them a drawing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they know what's going on. So how do hey, guess we want... what, babe? Table. Hey! How do we want to approach this? Multiple tables. Which table are they sitting at? That one? Oh, what's the uh, table? They're, all, they're all at this one. Okay. The big ones are meant to be tavern tables, the small ones are meant to be like a kitchen table. They're like eating at the table. And like yeah, they're it. all sitting around this table eating and conversing. And What's it made of? Wood. Oh, okay. Do anyway. you just want to bang in clear and then we rush them, or what do we want to do here? Go what? back and get the Other door powder thing. We could go get a shark. <laughs> I'm going to go drag a barrel and just roll it down. What the hell? How much does, how much does a shark weigh? <laughs> oh, shit. No, if anything, are, are we're shoving him into the pool with the sharks and feeding heavy. the sharks. I was going to say, yeah. he could just throw a shark in there. Distraction from real distraction. No, I'm but, saying you can probably get close enough to take one of those little bombs and just be wee. Yep. Which you're still holding that door, like on that corner, yes. right? After you guys have walked away from this and now you're investigating all of this, you hear you close it back up because the weight's gone. Yeah. Which is the funny thing is, we could all just step on it and ride it out and then walk across. Because it or doesn't go flush well the wall. Yeah. I wouldn't have. Or we could play with the dolphins. Yes, play with the dolphins. I want to play with the dolphins. So we need to deal with... friends. Let's take... What do we want to do? Because I'm gonna need, move it's going to be a surprise for so us to go in. Do, so we get Nick in. Do what we need, need to, to do. Probably need to move his room, too, since his... We can... We can yeah, technically you guys are probably back. But. Even more Zonks, too. Oh. Because he's in the other room. Yeah. We could... Yeet, yeet. I mean, we could... A pouch. I'm gonna say, well, yeah, one of the bombs is banging under the table kind of thing. And yeah. And then... Steve all check. Yeah. Yeah. And then surprise round. Yeah, okay. I think that works. Is nope. there a light source in this room? And if so, where is it? Um, and what kind? There are a few torches that kind of line the walls. Mm-hmm. Um, just kind of like one next to here, one over here. Kind of in, like, not the corners of the room, but kind of, like, haphazardly corners. Are they human? Uh, one is half-elven. Uh, the other two are, uh, human. Hmm. Another reason why I wasn't going to die to those kids. Hmm. I fall. Yeah. So are we skee-balling a bomb? Yeah, skee-ball the bomb. Just, just, just one. one. Just one. It's, you, I'm just I'm, Get I'm putting table. this out now. You have heard how bad this place echoes. Mm-hmm. You're throwing a bomb. Okay. Or oh, we're ski balling the bomb. We're ski balling the bomb. Okay. Who's chucking the bomb? Well, no, it is. No, Probably the person with the best dexterity score. No. 
All right, I'm checking the bomb. I mean, my athletics is pretty high, but go That's ahead fine. and roll um, roll a d20 and your dexterity modifier. Just my dex, or do you want me to do athletics? Uh, dex. Just your dex. That's my dex. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, please just take just your dex. Well, Unless you're proficient in athletics. I am proficient in athletics. Okay. Are you expertise in athletics? No, but I have a plus seven. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it's like the first thing I took, because I was like, I might need that for climbing in windows and stuff. Yeah. Um, so state, dex, and plus. Which I think is funny, because dex is acrobatics, yeah. but athletics is strength. So I rolled a nat one. Okay. It's it's steeple, modifiers! So. Modifiers puts it at an eight! Um... Is it? Modifiers puts it at a What's six. What's your athletics? Or no, oh, that's... Oh, you, should, you said just dex. Sorry, six. Yeah. Oh damn! I don't think you would. Um, okay. I don't where, light where it. You, where are you aiming it? I'm aiming it to go under the table because I can light it with prestigitation. So it's not lit; it's just being tossed in there. Roll a d8 for me. Six. And as per rules of gunpowder, it only ignites with an ember. Okay. It lands here. Okay. Do they notice? No. Okay. <laughs> I hit it anyway. <clears throat> Mage hand. Moving it under the table. <laughs> Mage hand like mini golf it. You no, know, it just okay. yep. she, now, she can pick now, it up. Now make now make sleight of hand. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, give her that, now she's proficient in it. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Do it, do the things. Big bonuses. Can't fuck that up. 19. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I rolled an 8, but I... Plus 11. Okay. Okay. Can't fuck that up. So, you chuck it, and it... Onto the stone floor, and you're like, that's not where I wanted it to go. So you <laughs> throw your mage hand in there, and it just kind of... Boink. Puts it under the table. Word of advice for the future? Lead with that. Yeah. Well, I didn't. Think <laughs> yeah. 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 Only thought of it upon failing. Yeah. yeah. Um. <laughs> then press digitation to light it. Okay. And we are prepared to run in. Yes. Right. Well, given the, if anything's left alive, if not, we'll just turn and walk away and roll. Right. Well, throw roll, their bodies in the truck. Roll three d six, please. Honestly, they're not really going to eat them. Okay. They get a lot of press, but they're really wow. not bad. They're really not going to eat them. No, no, no. Really bad. One, one, and a two. So, four. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's fine. We'll do so, it. So, given positioning the strength of the blasting powder, even at a low roll, you cast your press digitation, and you see the little part of it just go... <laughs> And the se- the dead center of the table, fucking ha- now has like a two foot hole in it. There's looks like shrapnel damage. Um, they take the they take uh, damage equal to what you rolled, which was four. 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 So they take four damage because they rolled shitty and don't even know that it's happening. So uh, you see their plates go flying, food everywhere. They're what the fuck. The explosion echoes through all of the fucking caverns. And they're flustered, they're confused. Who's running in first? Okay. Which one? Closest one to me. They're surprised, so whatever you're trying to do, you have advantage on because they just started out. What, do you want me to go to the farthest one first and just walk back? Yeah, because you have better movement. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, put me on the one furthest away. Alright. Lineman going in. Who's next? <laughs> Put me on the other side of that table. Like this? Yeah. Okay. Not up against the wall? Yeah, not up against the wall, please, so I can work my way around the table. Yee, <laughs> yee. Which one? Uh, yeah, then yeah, that one. Okay. Ta-da. All right. Um, are you subduing or attacking? Attacking. At right. this point. Yeah, at this point, we've done... All right, let's go ahead now, and take... Now we're Let's loud. go ahead and take surprise rounds. Yeah. So everybody go ahead and roll whatever attacks you're going to do. You have advantage on them. 
Can well, that's are the other the two tables one. still mm -hmm. fine? These two? Yeah. Yeah. I want to go make my way to go hide under the table <laughs> for, to watch for reinforcements. Yeah, and I'm just gonna go ahead and enter the room and try to go with her. I'll say I'll say you're under. Actually, can you bend in there? Probably. Yeah. Mm, it's five foot not quite. Well, I'm at the mini. So we'll we'll say you're under there, and you're going where? I'm just gonna follow with her and man that because that one is the yeah, I'm gonna get on the other side of the hallway. I'll yeah. take the small table. He can take the big table. Okay. <laughs> okay, that works. That way we can be ready to... And can I toss him... Okay, so we're by a, not too far from a hallway, right? Which one's a hallway? Yeah. Bo uh, both hallways. There's a hallway at the end, a hallway here. Okay. These are both, double these doors. Are both hallways. The, those doors. are the double. Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this, one, this one splits into two. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's so This one perfect. is just a single hallway. Can I toss him a rope and, like, so we can be, like... Trip line. <laughs> Trip line. Absolutely. <laughs> I love so it. as you both take cover under these tables, we're booby trapping see, the door. You see Note look over at you and toss you the end of one rope. I would just like to state that Jethro is so physically excited <laughs> to play with a rope. <laughs> All right, everybody, roll attacks, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, going around the table, Ron. Um, it's gonna be a total of twenty-two. That hits. What are you hitting him with? The staff or? That's my sword. It's, uh, oh yeah, you have a scimitar. Yep. Um, twenty-two, great weapon master. I'm the twenty-five. Nice new battle axe. Okay, all of you hit. Go ahead and roll damages. Meanwhile, well, me and Note look like we're about to play tunnel. <laughs> oh, okay. It's actually higher, but it doesn't matter because I hit. Mm -hmm. Six points of damage. Six points. All right. He is stand the chair that he was standing in is now tipped over and uh, and clatters to the ground. And as he's trying to figure out what the hell, he fucking is wiping dust off of him as you come up and drive the scimitar across his ribcage. 26 points on my first attack. Okay. <laughs> You're fucking sticking with the pointy end and he is just gouging Oh no, I'm blood. using the new battle axe. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, sure. So... You you t you half take bludgeoning, half you take that into the fucking <laughs> just into the shoulder and hit like you you can feel as you drive the axe in you can feel the shoulder dislocate <laughs> and you feel the clavicle just come come across like butter like it's just gone. Um, he's still up, but he. Is well, I do get another attack. Yeah, no, sure. <laughs> For well, now. Yeah. Well, well, damage. Did well, you smite at all or no? No, no smiting. Okay. Um, you stick him with the short sword, and you can see the wound kind of gets like a little bit of like frostbite around the edges. Um, he's still up. Uh, I, here we are. I get another tactic. 18 to hit. That is. 15. Here, Lisa. Big side. That is. Oh, it is. They're they're not in. They're not very armored. 18 points of damage. Uh, he's dead. <laughs> hey, guess what? I get to attack the next one if he don't kill him. You guys come hit the one. Seven. I hit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven total? Yes. Yeah. Well, I didn't know if I had my movement or not. I mean, he I'm probably is hurt. hanging on, barely. Move me around to Aronis. Sure. I figured you can handle yours, so. Oh, yeah. I'll be all right. I mean, I can handle him. It's just you do more damage. That's a 23 to hit. That is. That's uh, maybe 24 points of damage. How much did you do last time? Five. Six. So we're at 30 points of damage. He's barely, <laughs> barely. He's got like 30 points. Yeah. Saying so these two are barely alive. Um, and then initiative. Let's see. Because <laughs> that was surprise round well, damage. Well, hold on, let me think real quick before we keep going. I got something to put in my head. What song? From Hamilton. Oh, yeah. That's on Disney Plus okay. now. So it's great. I'm going to watch it. Watch it. Oh, okay, go ahead, and everybody, go ahead and everybody go ahead and everybody roll initiative. Oh, that's pretty good. That's dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> One of us has to be. Alright, 25 to 20. Um, 21. You hold that rope. I'm holding it up. <laughs> I write you some scooby bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, how would you scoop? I do that thing 20, where you like, take the rope and you like, wrap it around 20, her hand. 20 to 15. 18. 18. 17. She goes first. She has higher decks. Oh. Note. Morzog. What would you get? 17. 17. 17. Oh, we're on a... I got an 8 hot stuff. Did just you play uh, Tug of War? Knock it down for me. Always. Yeah, yeah. Uh, That's the kind of mentality I'm thinking. You'll just wrap yeah. dead bitch. Hey, I'm guess what, buddy? There is one guy below you. Hey. Hey, they suck. <laughs> I mean, we had four years of winning the Battle of the Classes, yep. so... We, we played the seniors we my play freshman year, so... Big e all the time. It was my favorite thing to do. All right. Which, this isn't going to last very long, but... No, it's going to be uh, one round, but... So... Unless I unless we just miss and they're like, <laughs> what you got? Um, I don't know. I guess if I can just prepare a reaction for anybody coming down that hallway. Okay. Uh, um, so you're. Can you shoot an instant spell? Mm, I only got one stock. So you're currently hiding under a table. You've already got a hold of the rope. Yeah, I think. Um, if you want to, if you want to fire a spell, you can. I mean. I think I will. I think I'll just wait for these, hopefully, yeah. some people to come down and okay. so pull my hijinks. Pull, holding, <laughs> holding the action for hijinks. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Shenanigans, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Shenanigans at level six. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Um, this guy goes. He is death row. Well. And he is going to cast Thunder Wave. Oh. I fucked up. Why'd you fuck up? I could have done my new trick. Oh, yeah. Well, your wave. I just need no range, please. 15 foot cube. Mm -hmm. I need. Everybody? Nope. I need. Well, I need Orana, Garm, and Morzog to all make Constitution saving throw. How far is everyone away from me? Rope team's doing great. <laughs> yeah. I'm five foot away from you. Uh, yeah, we're all kind of pretty close, so. Yeah, you got about I think, 15 on Morzog. And I'm the, yeah, I'd be the Five. farthest away. And, yeah, away from Elrond. How big's your little world? Ten. Damn. Whatever you rolled, add two to it. So Add two? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still probably fail, but I appreciate the two. I'm, I'm trying here. I'm this one. What am I running for again? Constitution savings throw. Constitution? Oh, yep. Oh, okay, that works. Elrond, what'd you get? Okay. Five, uh, fourteen. 14, fail. Modified 20. Pass. Nat 20. Pass. Okay, so that is... I tried. You were close. You were close. There you go. That is... Uh, that is nine points of thunder damage to those who failed. And then half of that to those who pass. Is is the uh, other NPC within that 15 foot of him? Yes. Half rounded down. Half. Would it just roast him as well? <laughs> yeah. Knock him on his kit, finish him off for us. Yeah, actually, it would. How much HP is that throw, left? Saving throw. Yeah. He said he was close. Uh, well, let's let's see. Because if it's one, he's automatically dead. He he passes. Yeah, but with okay, what, but what, he what, how close one hit was he? Point. Yeah. He yeah he literally has one. Yeah. yeah, so he's gone. <laughs> okay. uh, I mean, anything four or lower or five or lower is kind of done. Elrana, you're pushed. Yeah. Because you failed. So you get pushed ten, ten feet back. So is that five or four for Yeah. Down? Round it down or round it up? Uh, down. Round it down. So four. Oh, okay. And yeah, I just completely killed that NPC. Oh, yeah. He killed his buddy. That is awesome. That's great. Made this it. fight just e even easier. Let go. It's funny as shit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, note. I'm holding. Okay. Holding the rope. Holding the rope. Holding for I would hands. like to tie the loose end of my rope, or at least loop it around the table leg, so that way I have a little <laughs> more. Okay. Uh, I mean, if you can trip on a 15-pound cat, I have a feeling I can let you know. <laughs> sure as fuck can't trip on a 15-pound cat. Mm -hmm. Uh, Morzog. Death. 
Uh, modified 20. He's dead. Oh. He had one HP. <laughs> yeah, sure, go ahead and roll it, but... <laughs> Max damage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is dead nice. as fuck. Sent his ass to the so, run. as we're hitting this kind of, like, <laughs> slow point, you guys hear, as it is, like, going off the walls, coming from... I mean, if we're going to have a battle, at least we picked a good room. Yeah, we got a good room. We got what, three, yeah. we got three entrances and these can come in. Well, we got enemies. four, technically, because the double doors, the two, and then three hallways. It's not likely that they're coming from the way that we came from, though. Yeah. So Shark room. Work, yeah. If they're not in our room yet, we can block off a doorway, too. I was going to say, yeah, you can <laughs> trip them up as they come in. Yeah. You hear coming from the Turn shark room, coming from the direction of the shark room. Sharks. Uh, oh, then we have a lever on the other side. Oh, no. But, Land oh, sharks. Okay. So it's oh, all yeah. the, the sharks and her legs. <laughs> and just... You hear footsteps. Oh, I wanted to suplex a shark. Boots boots on boots on stone, running oh, your direction. Shit, who gave the dolphins boots? The so Are we, at the moment, are we out of combat because they have not reached the room? You're Yeah, you're currently out of combat for now. I, put me on a corner. On a corner? Yeah. Like, not the corner of the room, but the corner of the entryway there. Yeah. I can't see how distance here sucks. Yeah, you're, okay, you're, like a different okay. car? That's the way they're coming. So you're facing the direction they're coming from? Yes. Is that what yes. you're okay. yeah. There's only noise coming from that way? Only noise coming from this way. Okay, fine. You're not okay. hearing anything come from this way or this way? Is that table still standing? Yeah, yeah around the corner. Gone? This? I think table. it's a standing, yes. but it had it's, a huge hole. It's standing. Yeah, it's, 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 it. the, like, yeah, it's got a hole in it, plus the thunder wave has like broken one of the legs, so it's kind of like tipped, but... I'm That's not, even. I'm better. not going to break Kayla's brand new table that she worked very hard on. So you can make a specifically so, broken one. <laughs> technically, <laughs> still standing. Technically, still standing. Put me around the corner so I'm not, you know, obvious. Standing there. in the hallway so we're not obvious. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna follow uh, Note's idea and tie the rope around a table okay. leg. Are those two? Are you guys pulling it taut or? Not yet. Okay. Are it's, they? It's are to, they hidden? It's to pull slack so if they if they're heavy they don't yank us in there too. Um, kind of they are or at least deep width because you're only 90 so. some pounds yeah. I was going to say pick a wall arm. Not sure, huh? I don't want to pick a wall sure I'm we were playing tug of war uh, <laughs> well, they're, they're further off is the thing <laughs> oh so you're, so you're going to you're going to like stand back there and bait them debate it like on the other so side they think the it's just you and like your act, Mr. like actively taunting okay. Okay. so, so put them on the other side of the table facing the way they would run from if they're coming from that way they're here obviously the rope would be there there you go good job but the thing is, I don't think the do. rope's gonna work because as they enter the room. Well, I was guarding that doorway. Yeah. But everybody. So are they just coming from? Because they're coming from. Away. Come, oh, wait, I'm coming from in front of the double side. doors. I uh, would like, since we're out of combat, I would like to use Mulder to block the door closest to me. This one. Yeah. Okay, Mulder. What kind of like handles are on the double door? Does it um, open in just, or out? Yeah. How's it open? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can we give me a detailed version of the mechanics of the double door? Yes. Tell me specifically. Uh, We're very creative. Where pieces. are the hinges? Let us do our things. But like, it, like, it, are the creative the, and intelligence? Are yep. the handles in such a way where it I can is, jam something through the two of them? Is, so yeah, it is two rings. Okay, well, since two, like ring handles. since you said the table leg was broken on that table, sure, that's still standing. I'm gonna grab it and barricade that oh, door. Oh, nice. Table leg. Nice. Okay, as you go up and you jiggle the rings to be able to fit that in, you hear. <laughs> Something yeah, on the other side. We'll, we'll deal with that. Oh, I'm just going to leave the barricade. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> barricade for, for now. Stick, stick a table leg in there. You taking your post back? Yeah, I'll get, I'll get kind of, I'm going to get back on the Scooby-Doo okay. rope team. Since you two are being a shenanigan, <laughs> I want you two to roll uh, shenanigans. <laughs> shenanigans fresh, at level six. Fresh stealth checks. Well, I'm proficient in shenanigans. Uh, how, so. <laughs> how long? <laughs> Pass without traces an hour. You and damage on stealth on. I know. So, I, so 21. Okay. Uh, I was gonna Is that ask, adding your bonus? I was going to say they have yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. actively trying to be a three, so. <laughs> Fair um, so Plus 10 cents come in handy. Yeah. They'll be fine. They were fine. Yeah. But in case they weren't fine. <laughs> and then do we still have the pass? Huh? Yeah, do you still have the pass all the trade, so add 10. I just want Which them is to that, that, that rule you made with the plus 10? Or, okay. I rolled a 3. The odd of no, <laughs> odds of note ever getting caught as long as we have Pass Without a Trace is this. Yeah. So even if she rolls a nat 1 with modifiers, huh? that's still Is that like something that I can get? 22. Pass Without a Trace? Unsure. 
Okay. I don't know. You have to look. It'll um, probably be, I don't know what, what, what spell level is Pestle Okay, Trace. we need to make she sure she, uh, secure so. we close the lid for the cat food. <laughs> have you eaten out of it? It's oh, gone. Yeah. Oh, all gone. Great. I'm sure Blue's butt is nice and fat now. Yeah. Big hungry. Let's see. Pass without trace is a... Say, because I know you get... Second level. Okay, I know you get Abjuration. things later on where you can pull from other schools of magic, so it might be something you can get later. With that, I know I can steal it from people, but can people teach me? Say, it's Druid and Ranger. How does... Because I wonder, will. how does magic work if you have magical ability? It depends on Depends which on how the magic is being yeah. pulled from. There's only... Like most wizardly or arcane casters can't learn natural magic that druids have, so a lot of shit that druids can know, you you just can't control that. Um, and vice versa for like if you tried to learn like divine magic, it sometimes just doesn't work like that. Um, that'll have to be have to that'll have to be something you explore. But with your, you can learn spells from any thing, like two spells, I think it is. I got, from any, I've already got one of them. And I think it's a ritual. Well, one of them you get because you, there's multiple instances where when you level, you level up, you can pull from another school. So. Yeah, I got so one. So you can do that. You, you can get it eventually. Just okay. it's gonna take a bit. So, other than what's new Scooby Doo over here? <laughs> <laughs> Scooby Doo. Which are you two trying to hide in these? On, in like these I'm parts, staying or? in the corner, but I'm gonna try to time a swing as they come through and just you try to take it. ahead. The, um, you guys should not. You guys should not. Can. Not, not even, well, yeah, clothesline, but with the great axe, like, him running, like, Actually, coming, coming through, through the door, door and it's just, <laughs> boom, you know. Here for it. What'd you say? It doesn't really work that. It, it's, I draw it, and I put one out, and then it kind of doesn't do that anymore. Oh. I was going to ask if his sword could pull, to put out the torch, torches. I could put out, if we can. I, I could yeah, put out all, the torches. It's all and... non-magical light within an area. Oh, okay, poof. Okay. Yeah. That works. We can all see in the dark bottom. Yes. Yeah. I just want what are you doing as they enter the door, Kayla? Uh, preparing a uh, cold touch. There you go. Oh, never mind. Do the thing. I have bodies. <laughs> do the, oh, do the thing. Oh, oh. <laughs> yes, do the thing. Okay. I'm still going to go for a decapitation. Go ahead, and, uh, go ahead and give me the details of what it is. Line up the home run swing. Well, she, she leveled up, so she gets to create zombies. This is going to be fun. It stands up with one HP. Creatures, creatures use the zombie stat block in the monster manual. It remains intimate for one hour, after which time it then collapses and dies. Army of Again. zombies. Army of zombies. <laughs> We're going to build an army and who's going to be like, this whole thing was for naught because there's like 80 zombies in front of us just pushing through clearing rooms now, triggering traps. Is, I can just keep and... doing it. There is no limit. limit. I was going to say, how many can you... There is no limit. It's my spores. My spores and pests. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> zombie army. Zombie army. You said they have one HP? Yeah. Oh, fuck. In a combat, the zombie turns comes immediately after yours. It obeys your mental commands, and only action it can take is the attack action. Okay. And you're just gonna have... Right, what, what are you gonna do with these zombies? I was gonna say they're gonna be Send part of our trap. Send them down the hall. They're gonna go ahead of you. Those Take her out and do a couple. I mean, stand dash. there and then once they kind of get wait for the sight, then, as a yeah. ambush. Yeah. There's more people on. People. Uh -huh. Okay. I mean, they only got one hit point, but they might get a hit in before these people do. Well, yeah. Like or I just said, you know, targets for I'm, them to I, hit. Like I said, I'm trying to take it like a swinging trap. I see someone come through the door, and it's just a battle axe coming through. So. And then, who knows? Maybe they'll recognize their comrades and be like, "Oh shit, you're hurt. Let me yeah. help you." Yeah. Oh, buddy, you have they a giant axe wound. Well, well, no. <laughs> Given how these have been hurt, like, one of them has a part of the, the arm is just gone. Good old zombies. It, it, it is, like, just color. flopping off, <laughs> dragging across the ground. People live through some <laughs> yeah, serious... Well, th this, is, this is being drugged across the ground, hanging on by, like, a slab of skin about maybe two inches Does thick. the arm have one hit point? And just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god, in that case, start chopping off arms. Like, yeah. Let's just do that. Each of them. <laughs> yeah. um, it's so. merely a flesh wound. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, I'm just a potato, it's okay. <laughs> so you, you all, you all parts, see this. 10 HP. As Ilrona turns to the bodies that you guys have just freshly killed and kind of puts out her hand and you see the like little kind of 
tiny little dust particles almost float across the air and as they kind of start touching the bodies mushrooms start growing in different parts and if for any of you who have played the last of us um mushrooms and and like shelf mushrooms and caps and and different kinds of fungus start permeating this as you can see like veins that are pressing through parts of the face and skin as they start to stand up making this horrible just oh damn i was hoping for more davy jones's crew kind of thing so she's water and you know the plant life and everything I'll take it though, zombie army, zombie army. <laughs> still cool, but still they all cool. they all look for Elrana and start shambling their way. <sighs> the arm is just plopped. <laughs> yeah, just Adam's family just up on its end, just yes. I oh, see that's very elegant. I was envisioning like a fish oh. just flopping its way along. Um, the other zombie goes, picks arm. it up, puts it back on. No, no, it's magic card. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so you're planning them to go in through the hallway in here? No, it's, I'm waiting for them to come in. No, this is in, an ambush. As they come in, the Too zombies need and... Gotcha, okay. Um, I didn't pull out enough minis. That's okay. I need a 3D printed arm mini, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, sure, your arm. I, I mm-hmm. would say, Garm, this does strike a note with you. Oh, yeah. This is... Yeah. We're yeah. going to have words later, I'm sure. Mm-hmm, yeah, we have to have a talk. Uh, They're you, not undead. Like, as, you, as you're watching them, they are <laughs> They are not purpose. hostile. They are commanding. They wouldn't make They're a noise, going in there, whatever. Huh? They wouldn't actually make a noise. It's just, it, it's just the, like, you know, the slight sucking of them, like, trying to... They don't they breathe. They don't make a noise. They're still... I'm literally animating the body. There's no breathing, no blood flow, no it's, nothing. Uh, 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 I'm puppeteering. I'm puppeteering it. There we go. Well, why would you? Why? <laughs> oh my god. Puppet master. <laughs> um, Garm, you have the flashbacks of like a bloody battlefield, people dying, and then watching your friends who just freshly slew, not even about five seconds ago, get back up and try to eat you as your glowing halberd is flying through the air, lopping limbs off. Character development. Yay. We're going to talk about this later. We can make a mental note. But right now, Right it's now, useful. we're busy and it's useful. <laughs> but right now, it's useful and they kind of deserve it. That hurts real bad, but that's dope. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having a flashback, but they're on my side, so... <laughs> okay. So... After after you guys get all set up here, you, we're assholes. Like we really take advantage of you know preemptive combat. Yes. I love it. Be very careful with that mini. The fucking staff likes to break. Okay. I prepared it like I twenty will, times. I will. Excuse me. Yeah, There's now more clues. And... I have to green stuff it. Oh. But that stuff's a bitch to work with because liquid oh, green no, stuff. No, no, so. no, no, no. Okay. So what you see coming through the coming through the you hear the footsteps transfer to iron uh, or to metal as you see a small platoon of soldiers running through um, led by a uh, led by a dark elf a drow as they are investigating the noise um also through um you also hear a voice coming through that has kind of like a metally tone um oh no we can speak now it's the shocker (laughs) (laughs) what the hell is going on down there (laughs) Find out what it is. We'll find out. Come on through the door, big boy. Come on. <laughs> Come on, just step through the door. Uh, cowards. I, I was can testing. I just, can I just get you two to roll? Because you're you're standing out blatantly in the middle. Can I get you two in to, a dark just roll, to just roll hide checks for me? Stealth? Yeah. Because you're just because you guys are getting ready to attack, but you're waiting by Still the door. Plus ten. Yeah. <laughs> Fifteen. I mean, I'm around a corner, right? As long as I'm not just standing there. 19. Yeah. 
while perturbed by the zombies, yeah, like, still actively like, being a cunt about so being out in the open. That, so you know, you can <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can picture. I'm just, I'm just tuning up the great axe, just like that, like hand batter ring. box, waiting for something to come through. Okay. Um. So as they make their way, because they are just still jogging as you guys are preparing. Oh, it's just gonna hurt. Momentum's a bitch. The drow in the lead with a um, long sword. I like not yell down the hallway to see if I can piss him off and get him to run in stupid. <laughs> I mean, it's a dark room. They're already kind of running in stupid. I want him to run in real stupid. <laughs> Extra stupid. Big yeah. stupid. Yeah. I mean, we could have dug a hole in front of the door and made it. <laughs> <laughs> just a pitfall trap. Just the more Scooby Doo hijinks we can pull off. <laughs> I mean, I do have spikes. Yeah. That I could have made at the bottom of it. Watch him for that. Yes. yes. Next time, Mulder yes. spikes. And, and then with Scooby-Doo the and with Can the you roll? shake water too? Yes, I can. Okay, so there's ice the floor before it. <laughs> yeah. So they have to <laughs> slide, slide into the pit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, this time we're gonna defend our ho- hobbles from now on. <laughs> is one of us is gonna dig a pit, put spikes. The other one's gonna put a thin layer of earth, and then we'll just mold the earth and let them drop. And just. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I'm sorry. Bye bye. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> so as they run up. Uh, they don't notice you two that are holding the door. Oh, this is unfortunate. And you're gonna, you're <laughs> okay. gonna, you say you're gonna yell at them? I'm, I'm yelling at them. Okay. Uh, what are you gonna yell at them? So, What's new Scooby Doo? <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he yelled, you, you know, at these people to find out what's going on down there. And what happened was, I, I'm in here seeing how well your soldiers fight, and they fucking suck. <laughs> Go ahead and roll a uh, intimidation check. Oh, intimidation. Oh, Can yes. we call this episode shenanigans at level six? <laughs> yes. I like intimidation. Intimidation is fun. We can't quite call it Scooby Doo, but it's basically Scooby Doo. I'm here for it. Twenty-four. <laughs> if rules wasn't our, if our thing, we could just do shenanigans. <laughs> theme name. So they four letters. <laughs> Draw, they all draw, all have their weapons drawn and start funny, making their way. As it, as the first guy crosses the threshold, is the first guy the drow? Yes. <laughs> this is unfortunate. Yeah. Go ahead. And, Tune up the band. Uh, you're you're rolling to attack too. Go ahead and you both get advantage on this. Ooh, okay. Come on. Oh, that's really bad. That's really good. And Jethro is humming like the Major League Baseball <laughs> sound, like the organ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did we, did we successfully tune up the band? 30, 20. 21. 21. Okay, you both hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Same person. Yep. Same person. time. Oh. oh. Did you max again? Damn. Nine. Nine. 27. <laughs> Woof. So, batter up style. Fucking giant great axe over hey, your head. Hey, but hey, but Sweet! <laughs> and Elrana standing there with her scimitar waiting as he passes through going, you little son of a... You... Woof! <laughs> and you can feel, like, Elrana on the other side of the doorway feels the wind come off of it and then gets splattered with blood as... <laughs> we'll take the, that out. Liquid is liquid. Yeah. Liquid is liquid. As you... Sink Body's the axe into water, like that. part of the like abdomen area, and just fucking dry like immediately stop his momentum, and he would go prone if you He's know not held up by the axe. If if the axe plus Elrona's sword both didn't come in to basically support him for a second, he's still alive, but his entire torso is just covered in blood. Can I get a d6 for force damage since he was jogging Ooh. towards me? Fair. Yeah. I'll give you a d4 for it. Yeah, fuck, I'll take any extra damage. Also, he just doesn't want me to the ones this. coming in behind him, would they run yeah. into him? <laughs> yes! Because he just they, suddenly got stopped. They, they, they had a little bit of space in between each other, okay. and They're as soon as he stopped, away. they were all stopped. Okay. Four more damage, please. Sure. <laughs> um, s- still, still alive. Yeah, still, no, still, yeah, alive. still alive. Yeah. Do, do I get my second attack? <laughs> well, I'm gonna have you guys go ahead and roll for an issue now. Oh God. 
As of now, I have to. You guys are all for initiative. I'm rolling for Scuba Dale. <laughs> <laughs> rolling for high Oh, okay. Okay. That was a roller coaster of emotions, and I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I stopped using plastic. Plastic's rounded edges just, it's too much of a roller coaster for me. I can't do it. It was real good, and then it was real bad. <sighs> Alright. Talk about 20. 21. God damn. Or Scooby Doo Yang's holding down the door. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's an awesome <laughs> trope, man. I mean, wave over there, you know, party inspiration would be nice. Oh, that's true. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can do that. You focus on the Scooby Doo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, you're you doing can, great over there. Uh, yeah, but the MLB <laughs> song, you know what I mean? Or just, you know, <laughs> passive bardic inspiration. Come yeah, on, I can count as bardic inspiration, right? He just looks at you, Jinkies. Yes. <laughs> We're so, you so pumped. 23. <laughs> Throughout the entire yeah, 23, 21. Jinky Scoop. Throughout the entire thing, I'm, I am singing the What's New Scoop again. <laughs> 20. When you say What's New Scoop, I get What's New 19. Cat. <laughs> it's a matchup. It is. What's New Scoop? Uh, 15 and 10. Whoa, whoa, 13. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> My zombies go after me. Oh, all okay. the zombies, yes. If there's oh. anything left. <laughs> now, does it take an action to reanimate, or is that just. It's passive? a reaction. So as a reaction, if I kill this bitch, you could just bring her back? Oh, great. Yep. Yes, please. What'd you get, Garn? I got an eight. Garn, buddy, can you take a lurk the next time <laughs> you get a feat? Get, get you that solid plus five to initiative and help you out a little bit. I don't have to do anything. Oh, damn, fight. I thought that was... Uh, <laughs> I've already participated. Well, well, you're still participating. You can throw spells or whatever you want down that hallway. Okay. <laughs> That's so cool. I mean, they're kind of all in a nice little... Yeah, they're currently grouped together. If yeah. you have I do have a neat trick for that, but yeah. clips. Since they go up when the Ram does, can you just clip the zombies onto her going out, or does that not work? Uh, or do you want to do it? They go in the immediate act or the immediate place after me, so you just use one. Would it be easier since we're gonna have a bunch of stuff going on to have the bad guys <laughs> on the other side? Since we're gonna, <laughs> that's what I meant. Cause we're just we're just adding on. <laughs> nope. Okay. No. No. Darn. Uh, it's fine. She gets she gets like five turns. <laughs> All right. They have done their surprise. They are thoroughly shitting their pants. Note. Um. Well, they got the, they got taunted to come toward the come toward your paladin, but then got immediately stopped in their tracks. <laughs> How far away are they from me? The drow is about 40 feet away. Which I need to put that closer to my actual square. The space that's past our guys, like within the closeness, can I use, since I'm not really moving, can I use my mold earth to make that rough terrain? Yes, you can. Yeah, you can. Just as far over as I can reach. What's the range on it? Uh, I think it's 30, but... So... 30. 30 feet. At a point you can see within range. So it's 30 feet away from her, she can make a 10 foot cube going from that. A 10 foot cube? <laughs> 30 feet, 5 foot. Ah, 5 foot. Uh, let's see, 5 foot cube. Okay. You cast Mold Earth and you see part of the Earth start to make like little spikes and spines. A place I'd probably be a pain in the ass to get through, stepping on Legos. Um, and is that a bonus action or an action? Action. Action. Okay. Um, did you have anything you wanted to do as a bonus? Bonus action would be hide because you just cast a spell. Yeah. Um, yeah. You would have to hide. Oh no! Will she ever fail? No. She can always roll a natural one. Yeah, but with modifiers. Well, I rolled a 19. Oh, yeah. No, so, she's not seen. Yeah, That's she 30, 40 you're, points. You're not, even, you're not even in the campaign anymore. Like, <laughs> 40, she just... Who's <laughs> holding that rope? Uh, Jethro. Um, okay, are, is, so are the guys behind the drow proceeding in still, or are they staying out there? Uh, they're, they're still coming in, um, but it's not their turn to move. So I know, know, okay, I just wanted to... Yeah, okay. they're still coming in. Um, I think I am going to go ahead and do a Bardic Inspiration on um, Jonah 
And okay. because he's still taunting, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna do uh, give him some bardic inspiration. Um, Are you able to whisper it? Or he can still hear you, but they can't. I mean, they're close. He's close enough. Yeah, I, th I mean, I'm with him. It's not like he's yelling Just to me. Just reach out, tug on his cloak. Hey. I, again, I just, I just, I'm like, tuck, hey, tuck, kind of, <laughs> start feeding him new dawns. Yeah. <laughs> Call a bitch. <laughs> Call a bitch. How does father smell the Valderberries? <laughs> Alright, so you get, you, what's your bardic inspiration? D6? Um, a D8. Yeah, so you get a D8 that you can add to an ability check, saving throw, an attack, um, and, act, and because you're a Valor Bard, you can also use it as a reaction to increase your AC or add it to your attack Damn. damage. Damn. Yeah. Do you can add it to your AC? Val Valor Bards can do yeah. some crazy Bro, shit. Bro, I can use an extra eight? Yeah, dude, I can use an extra eight plus shield and then watch Drew's head explode. <laughs> okay, I got an 11 AC. I really could use the actual uh, uh, yeah, but eight. Bark skin you, what, 15 or 16? 16. That's with that, that armor that you have? Yeah. It's only leather armor, so well, it really is your bad. Inspiration oh, was a bonus action, so you saw me. I know, yeah, so um, I think I might hold off until they're really in the room, other than continuing to get my rope ready are for you, I was going to say, are you, gonna, are you still going to hold on to the rope, or are you going um, uh, to hold spell, or...? I'll still continue holding on to the rope for now. Okay. Alright, holding action for shenanigans. Alright. And lightly humming what's new scooby <laughs> <laughs> So, the drow... It's like a trap reading. It's gonna though. turn toward more dog. <laughs> Keep boxing softly. Mm -hmm. And is going to You can multiphonic. You just beatbox and hum at the same time. Harmonize with myself. Yes. <laughs> Are you singing with a Scooby Doo in your head? <laughs> Shut up. No, I'm not. Keep talking to I was talking to William, but I, sure I, you I can too. I'm saying William. there's a pretty good chance everybody does. <laughs> yeah. but... It's, it's for okay. copyright reasons, it will not be played aloud. <laughs> but I mean, no, 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 cover. It counts. Okay, I already told you what's stuck in my head, which is like a cross between that and what's new, Pussycat. Okay. <laughs> Notice here in the oh, mashup. Wow. <laughs> what's new, Scooby Doo? Yes. Whoa. Yes, exactly. <laughs> God. Okay. Um, so, Drow is going to take two strikes at you. Two more First one's a natural 20. What's your modifier, though? <laughs> uh, plus four. So the first one, or the second one was a uh, thirteen. No. Nope. So, or no, that's a. Mm. There we go. Uh, he's gonna deal twelve damage to you, or well, it'll be a sixteen. So twenty damage total. Well, I take twelve damage because ten hit points. So. Ah. All right. <clears throat> and that is his turn. It is now your turn. He might turn to strike back. Okay. They remove the axe from the chest. <laughs> yeah. To put back in. <laughs> to put back in through the chest. 18 to hit. Uh, that hits. You can just twist the axe and probably do it. Oh. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Torture damage. 24 points of damage. And what was the first one you did? Th that yeah. was my first one. Oh, uh, you mean my first set of damage? Oh, right. I did nine. He, he did twenty-four. Is, so he is barely hanging on. He's still alive. Barely. I, I get another attack. Yeah, yeah. Nine, twenty-four. So he had twenty-five points. Oh, yeah. that was a roll. Nineteen. How barely would a head but nineteen 30. still hits. Oh, that ain't max damage. That's uh, be uh, sixteen points of damage. He's dead. Hey, moving yeah, on to the next one. Points of fucking health. Moving on to the next one. Who's ask. next in line? Better. I feel like we're gonna get to use our rope. <laughs> <laughs> There's, there's more yeah, coming. you guys are like sitting there holding onto the rope as you see Morzog cut him down and then move into the hallway to start swinging at another. 24. That hits. Shocker. Damn, fighters. 25. Okay. Still alive. Well, of course. I mean, I, I, I you should be. <clears throat> um, Elrana. Yes. Your turn. Make a new zombie, make a new zombie, make a new zombie. <laughs> make another zombie. Is that an action to do? It's a reaction. It's a reaction. It's a reaction. It's a reaction. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Another zombie. I'm gonna, Morzong's just gonna be leading a zombie horde, and Rana's gonna be in the back and dance, my pretty dance. <laughs> Ooh. 
Uh, it's gonna be a twenty-five to hit. Ah! With your, with your hitting the guy with the sword, right? Yep. Okay. Let's go ahead and roll damage. Fourteen. Yeah. Okay. And now all of your zombies. Yes. <laughs> Start. As the, zombie, as the zombies, zombies start moving, uh, Jethro changes the song to Thriller. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your your zombies lose all of their action as now they have to stand in place and just go. Yeah. Worf. <laughs> Absolutely worth. I'll well, say, so, Drew, you want to pull up the zombie stat block in the monster manual so you know what you know. I, I, know, I, 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 I know. So she I'm just, I'm just going to look it up because. Not like you don't have a monster manual. I mean, come on. Thank you. I feel like my dog would use you for a trick. They have a plus three to hit and deal 1d6 plus one damage. No, you're not going to crawl up here. Mm. Oh no. Um. Do we get advantage for shock value? <laughs> like, they just watched me kill the leader coming through, and, you know. Do we get advantage for the fact that they're, they're scared shitless? <laughs> yeah, like, they all of a sudden, there's just traumatized. this giant-ass orc that came around the corner with this big-ass great axe, and just... Uh, it's Say gonna be no. 19 yeah. and 14 and the other two, I'm sure don't hit. Uh, wait, are you, you're having all of them gang on one? Or... Well, yeah. Because how, how, how are you moving them? Uh, uh... Drow douchebag. Okay. Going after Battle X, dude. Oh, okay. It's gonna be a 19 to hit. That hits. Okay. And then the other three... Okay. ...are gonna gangbang on the dude I'm trying. Okay, well, you only have enough room... For two? For, uh... You tell me none of the bitches use a bow? They're zombies. It's a melee action with the zombies. What if they piggybacked? <laughs> like, uh, um, chicken. They play chicken. You know what we could do? Since they're, if they live and we have an hour, we could just tie the rope in between them you and can, have, like, a slave you, line for people can, up as we can get, through. You can and get one more attack off on the guy you're working on, but okay. these two are kind of blocked off, and I will do it. Okay, well, we'll see those two are the ones that failed. Okay. Here's just an explosion. And so it's going to be six What kind of war crimes are we doing when we're using zombies as suicide bombers? And then, uh, desecration of bodies. And it's then like, fourteen okay, like, to the dude I hit. Like or am I strictly new? Oh, okay. Uh, no. All right, here. Okay, I'm neutral. I'm fine with this. Uh, <laughs> now we now we got bad guy turn. So. Damn. Where's my dice? Okay. All right. So, um, the guy that's facing you, Morzog. Rolls uh, 18 to hit. Shield. Okay. Battle axe dude is going to attack your zombie. With an 18, your armor cost is 8. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the zombie goes down. You trying to tell me. Uh, not, well, actually, flesh actually well. you have to roll a constitution saving throw that is 5 plus the damage that you're about to take. Huh? Why is she taking damage? The zombie rolls a constitution saving throw. Oh. Which is 5 plus... 5 plus 9, so 14. Okay. So roll con saving throw. Plus the zombie's constitution. Which is what? Which is plus 3. 15. Okay. So... <laughs> so it is actually still alive. Okay. Because undead fortitude is oh, a fucking yeah. thing. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> zombies have an ability where if they take lethal damage, they can roll a DC constitution oh, saving throw to damage? just stay alive at one. Now, see, I got, I kind of got a dumb question, but if the zombie body goes down, can't she just reanimate it with a reaction on her next round? I think it just gets shittier and shittier each time. <laughs> <laughs> it only has one hit point. I yeah. know, but the body. So, yeah, any, you know. so any hit, technically, yeah. it rolls... Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would say what isn't lethal damage on a one HP. That's what makes that ability so good is that she can make a bunch of them, and yeah. as long as she keeps rolling good con saving throws, they can just keep coming. Which okay. is why zombies Zombie are terrifying. Uh, Zombie. Yeah, because they, they are. They just yeah, they just don't stop. Uh, and then 
One is going to attack your other zombie, which rolls an eight exactly, plus two. Um, so it deals six damage. It doesn't matter any damage it would have done. It would have. Yeah, I know. But that that it's the damage saving throw. It's, it's, it's dead. It's dead. Okay, this one falls over. And is bi- it's bisected, not able to get back up. <laughs> just like, no more zombies. I'm like, oh, we got a whole slew of bad guys. So you keep providing me with bodies. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> um, Next bad guy. One, two, three. The last one. <laughs> nope, fuck this, I'm out. <laughs> oh, <crap. laughs> Starts running the other direction. You guys see him. And triggers the place and goes to eat shark food. Uh, seemingly you don't hear the floor move. They have a lever on the other side. I'm calling it. Uh, throw something at the lever. Yeah. You uh, well, hear the footsteps start the walking point. across the yeah, metal like as he side. takes his yeah. full dash. What fuck movement he's got? Well, he took mo- his 30 foot movement plus dash. So yeah, but he, what, he uh, was he on the difficult terrain to start out? No. no. He was before it. No, that's fine. The difficult terrain's like up here. I, I, I don't, don't think we're going to get fuse our rope at all. Maybe Sorry. You don't know which one comes from the other direction. Garm. You have this whole plan set up. You taunted them. They ran in and then got whacked, and now they're not coming any farther. I was right. You suck. <laughs> Call my bitch again. What are you doing? Uh, yeah. And you use or lose it on that uh, inspiration. Yeah. It's a uh, yeah, ten oh it's ten minutes. Yeah. So mm. unless we get so, in. Be for this combat maybe. So Jeff is just gonna like pat like rub his cap and like it would have worked. We can still do this. Yeah, you, you still you still have the you still have the DH rolled off your throat. And I and something. I know this is heinous, but maybe you should use a spell slot. How dare you <laughs> right? Like I'm all for smite slots. Wrong. But... <laughs> Incorrect. I mean you can come and join the fray, you got the movement. Yeah, but it's kind of a fuster clock in there. It's true. It really is. Zombies. Zombies. And zombies, and I'm just standing in the middle like, ha <laughs> I'm just going to step on the other side of the rope, face the other door, and we're <laughs> just, just, just going to pretend the zombies aren't there. <laughs> He's looking so away. So you're just, you're just turning around? Yeah, this is, if something comes from the other way, um, that's my problem. We're going to pretend the zombies don't exist. Okay. And you're just going to hold and wait for somebody to come down that way? Yep. Okay. You're being safe. I figure you got it. That's fair. All right. Back up to the top. Nope. Difficult train on in front of the other doorway, then. In front of this doorway? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it lasts for a while, so. But I figure. Difficult train there. That way, if somebody comes there... She can have both of them up. Yeah. She can have they two la- it lasts, it lasts for an hour. Okay. Yeah. So, it's just... That's fine. Do we bonus action? Hide again? Yeah. <laughs> Try it again. Okay. More hide I I would appreciate it if you just, like, rolled the dice. It's gonna be what I mean... There is no way. Yeah, 20. So. <laughs> okay, thank God. Jesus Christ. That's Which with modifiers. 41 with modifiers. She's even more gone than she was the last time. Uh, you're, you're in another campaign that just isn't, isn't even invented yet. So you you're, you're in the next one. Fuck Mighty no, Nines. Like, wait, who the fuck are you? Yeah. Small bird go bye-bye. Jethro. I don't know. Um, you're so far in another campaign, your name is now Kiri, and you live yeah. as well. Um... I mean, have, we haven't heard. Can I? I don't know if I could do like a perception to see if we hear anybody coming from that other sure, hallway. Go, go ahead and roll perception. Okay. So I mean, you all could just meander down the other hallway if you that's, wanted to. I mean, that's we like true. split the party without splitting the party. <laughs> uh, that's twenty-one. Okay. Um, you listen for a second, trying to like blot out the screaming, dying bodies behind you, and you're like, you're you're half tempted to just go shut up. More so, it's just laughing. And, and just you don't, people. you don't hear any, anything coming from them. Battle glee. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, I guess I don't know. I guess I'll just continue to hold until I feel like I don't want to. I don't think there's enough room for me to really get in there and assist. You can shoot a spell from where you are. I guess that's true. 
Yeah, how many, how many so are many still up right now? The there are three here. Oh, and then the one that dipped completely. Yeah, the one there, you saw the one just fucking piece. Actually, oh wait, no, that's a touch. I can't do that. Touch. Mm. As we're going, I think that we should, because I'll forget, we should block off everywhere we've been. Interest and exorcism is we move kind of thing. That way yeah. we just kind of walk through and be like, yeah, and that way if we have, yeah. Drop, keep moving. Yeah. Sorry, might be to be honest. Spun out. You're right. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, I know that feeling. We knew that we were going to have trouble with technology. Well, that's a given. Yeah. Seems to be found is super helpful, but sometimes it's not as fast as you want it to be. Has anybody, um, Arana or Morzok sustained any damage? Like, how's, I mean, every, how's everybody's I'm, HP? Well, I'm at, uh, 46 to 67. Currently. Minus 90. Because I didn't max heal. I didn't roll all my hit die on the okay. short rest. Um. Well, I'm gonna do healing word on you. Sweet. Killing words a sixty foot spell, correct? Yeah, I, yeah. I think I. You got plenty of room. Yeah. Okay, fine. Um. Say so if you have it in your inventory, you just hit the thing and pull up the stat block. It's oh. it's one in your D and D. If okay. you're if you're casting it as its normal level, it's one D four. Yeah, it's one D four. Okay. So yeah. plus your. Plus your spell casting modifier. Just see when you have it up here. All you got to do is touch it and it'll oh, go okay. off to the side. Gotcha. And that way you can cast from there and it kind of help keep track of your oh, gotcha. spell slots and everything. Okay. And then it's plus my, well, sorry, plus, my, it's 1d4 plus what? 1d4 plus your spell casting modifier, so your charisma. Oh. So, plus 3. So yeah. 1d4 plus 3. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and roll, roll 1d4. 4. Yes! Seven, plus four. 7. Nice. Thank you. And then now, that's it for me. Um, I was going to say, bad guy won't Yeah, that guy's dead and he's now a zombie. <laughs> so, Morzog, you're just going to go. Yeah! I don't have to manage on anybody, do I? No. Nope. Damn. It's okay. Swing for the fences. Oh, no. Nat 20, bitch! <laughs> Jesus. Get wrecked. Right. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm not going to try to get all up in that mess. I'm just going to... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'll sit here and hold my rope. That's 26 points of damage. Why aren't you keeping track of this? I do not trust your math memory skills. Because it's easy in my head. It's fine. Math Press and X to that. Yeah, okay. He's gone. I get a bonus attack anyway. Yep, go okay. ahead. No, I'm good. <clears throat> Just the next one closest to me. Okay, yeah. So he's, right, he's right there. You just got to pivot. Uh, 21. 21 hits. Uh, 22 points of damage. He's still up, barely. Second attack. Sure. Fucking great weapon master. God damn. Did you not 20 again? Oh, wow, yeah. Fucking Christ. That's not even with advantage. That's not even with advantage. <laughs> Fucking okay, get it. I didn't double the first die. That's oh. not the first time I cried. I didn't even double it. He just died. Uh, thirty-one points of damage. He's dead too. Move me again. Since I crit or he died, I get another attack. That's so ridiculous. <laughs> Fucking great, weapon master. Uh, twenty-one. Twenty-one hits. Oh, that's not nearly as happy. That's seventeen. He has one hit point. Damn one. it! Literally one. You can't just like tap on his foot or action, something. Like, you can just twist the weapon and it'll. Right? Uh, no, I don't. I think I'm out of. And I'm not going to burn action no, surge no, just to kill it. The guy right in front of you. The one guy left. So take your spores. turn and spores and he dies. <laughs> Symbiotic entity has four him and he dies. He only has what? one hit point oh, and yeah. automatically die. Yeah. So even if he even if he passes, it's still. Yep. 
Great weapon master's a bitch! Alright. Hey, guess what? She just got three new zombies. Yeah, did you want to make more <laughs> zombies? Yeah. Are we out of combat? Yeah. Yeah, we're done. Sure. Alright. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay, so... I really think... Get to -Doo anything. We'll probably have to forego the whole being stealthy and just kind of zombie horde in front of us and let them figure shit out. I'll, I'll still stealth, because I can hide under stuff. Yeah, but we don't want you getting stuck on the wrong side of the hallway, is my opinion. Judging by the immediate silence, I assume they all died. Yep, you got any more? Wait, wait, wait. She uh, can totally mimic. I can just mimic. Just do, do the voice back. Yes. <laughs> yes, repeat the voice back. Send it back to him. Go for it, yeah. Okay, what are you saying? Exactly. The same thing. <laughs> mimicking right, him right back to him. Just like, 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 the like an echo. Stereo. <laughs> 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 oh. Fucking kinkus, man. I don't even know how to fucking react to that. <laughs> how would you feel if you were like? If it were me, I'd just be like, the fuck. <laughs> Is this thing broken? Back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Echo. Uh. Hello. <laughs> Totally should have been your name. Echo? Echo. Scribe, though. No. Yeah, yeah, I know. We can change it. <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. I like it. <laughs> well. Just would be cool. Yeah. You, uh, <laughs> could be a nickname. God damn. I'm trying to hold the composure here. It's really hard. Because I'm imagining this in my head and it's just creeping me out. <laughs> yeah, it's crystal up, your act, up your acting skills. Okay, Bane. Talk. Uh, <laughs> right, right. Uh, Somebody go ahead and roll perception, please. A team of wise asses, as I see. You're a team of no wise asses, as I see. No, not us. Never. Who rolled what? I got a 19. I got a uh, 23. Ooh. This black dice is treating me good today. Okay, so... I got a hell of a lot less than that. So whoever, whoever rolled a... Um, uh, a 16 or above. Let's go. Okay, most of us. <laughs> All of us, I think. Got it. Oh, you didn't? Um, Got it. You, you follow the noises. You hear it actually in multiple places. Um, okay. It echoes to you from different rooms you were, or different places you've already passed. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, as well as they're over in like a corner over here. Um, there is a, as well as a pa past this door, you can barely hear it, but it's like, against the this wall you, yeah, is your closest <laughs> source. <laughs> Just leave them in there. There is a, like, cone, like a brass cone. Mm -hmm. Intercom system. Yes. Yes, yes. That, as you look at it, you follow it, and it actually, like, comes up and, like, follows the ceiling, and there mm -hmm. is, like, a tubing system. Okay. I'm, I'm going to lean like upon it and whisper all of that girl into it. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Talk back to him. I I'll hold a note up to him to see him talk through uh, to him. Prestigation. Tom Dirty. Your ignorance and insignificance is apparent. Reply I'll, his voice. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> ignorant, <laughs> ignorant, <laughs> wise, wise ass. You can tell he's kind of struggling, but he is trying to push past what you're well, saying just to get what he needs to say out. Um, but it is making it difficult as you, you keep repeating what's back to him. Good. It is of no significance. You may proceed to search as much as you like. We'll eventually see each other. Good luck. And then it goes silent. I am going to ignore everything he says, walk up to the phone and smash it. Okay, so you just walk up to the little thing too. and smack it with the sword and go, and like, just bends in because yeah. it's brass and it's a soft metal. Yeah. Easy killer. Yeah, so it's like a cone shape, right? Can I rip it off the wall and play like Red He's board? in the middle of a PTSD <laughs> episode, so. Yeah, it's fine. I just don't give a fuck about what he has to say. You're just at all really, in you're, the you are just really lucky that it doesn't conduct electricity. Yep. <laughs> we were thinking if he got we his mouth on this thing and <laughs> shot and pulled it in. Just to see what would happen. <laughs> but apparently brass does not conduct brass electricity conduct well. Brass does not conduct well. So. However, we would have been... That's... A, that's... That, it, it's the tin in it. That, yeah. So, you are out of combat. You don't hear any more footsteps. And... 
Um, he did hear a noise whenever he barricaded the door. Yeah, when he checked the door. He did hear a noise at the door. And, and then we'll go through shark room, probably. So we should check out the three and then... Because we have three exits here and then back around to shark room. Yeah, I just don't want to get stuck walking in loops while the zombies are up, because I think they only last an hour. Or yeah, so yeah I think kinda... I think we gotta check this door. We need to clear. I would pay, I would I would say check the door and then just barricade. progress through, barricade the other two and just progress. If we send the zombies into the shark room and the sharks eat the fungus, what happens? <laughs> Zombie <laughs> sharks. <laughs> It's Sharknado, but way better. <laughs> oh then, no, then we need to teach you, um, what was that druid spell that Shape I had? Water. Well, not even Shape Water. Shape Water than the like, whole yeah, yeah, I'm making more yeah. Maelstrom, where the tornado comes up at a point, and it's just ah. sharks. Zombie sharks. Just zombie cast sharks. whirlwind on the pool, pulling the shark <laughs> yeah, yeah. up into the whirlwind. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, so we're going to check out this door, then? Yeah, okay. open up the door. So you, just because you, you heard something. You, yeah. un- you pull the leg out from under it, and I'll go ahead and just... Should I do like a perception check on the door to see if I hear anything else from behind it? You can. Do you want me to go check for traps? Uh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> yes, definitely. So, Always. Perception from Bard, investigation from Rogue. I got a five on perception. Um, Just twice. No, I got a five. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Shit. Twenty-two. Okay, no traps on the door. I'm like, are we sure this is even a door? Like, are we positive? Five. Okay, yeah, I got five. Uh, you oh. currently are like. Yeah, just the zombies keep. Yeah, yeah the noise. shambling of the zombies across the ground is like disrupting you, and you're just like, I, I, s- I still I can't concentrate in these stuck conditions. In my head, so I can't. Board now, open the door. Okay. No uh, traps, open the door. Alright, you're going first then? Yeah, we'll just okay. Okay. Garm pushes past you, excuse me, <laughs> and throws the door open. I you slide see on the other a side. amount across the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What well, you see on the other side. Um, is a rough walled cavern that serves as a kitchen. There's a cutting block on the north that's stained with that's stained with old blood, and there's a low burning fire uh, where a cauldron hangs by a chain. A thick, foul smelling soup simmers. Uh, How do you do fuck up soup? soup and well, it depends which food it is. But I think I got spices. spices. And um, I can make things taste good for this. The uh, <laughs> The soup cauldron has a wooden spoon that is sitting there, that is still in the cauldron, and there is a uh, thing of like gamey meat on the cutting block and a cleaver that has been laid there. Um, and you see, not hiding very well, under a couple of the tables or, or the in the cabinets or whatever, is um, two kobolds Aww. that have taken cover. And are hiding and um, are they, they think they're hidden but they have the cabinet door propped open and are like staring at you <laughs> and are not not doing it's it. not the greatest intelligence yeah either. just just tell Pumbles, them to stay Pumbles here aren't, quiet. aren't smart they're smart stay here stay quiet we got shit to do so there's pretty no other exits huh? no other exits out of nope. this room no other exits this is a bear room. Until we're done, we can just bar them back in there and keep moving. We don't have to interact with it's the It's a kobold. kobold. They're not going to be able to bust through the door. Yeah. And they serve no threat to us, so there's really no reason for us to be assholes. So what are you done? We're better hobos, but we're not, you know, that I'm much more a hobo. I don't know. I just did a they, lot of shit in that hallway. Right. They came across. So do you just cook here? You get held here against your will? Wait, you're a dragonborn. Yeah. You hear one of what them. What color? Your look, huh? What color? Are these two? Uh huh. Uh, they're red. Oh. Um. Do I speak common English? Whatever. <laughs> uh. That might not be a problem. Or draconic. Are you speaking English? common to them? Yes. Okay. Um. You you say you know are you being held against your will? Do you just cook here? Um, Picturing major pain. The you one you're speak? not looking at. You hear from like the other side of the room. You hear. Uh, in Dragonic, because you're Dragonborn, you understand Dragonic, you hear, Princess Kirkshire, Princess <laughs> Magic <Magdalene Froze." laughs> And the one you were looking at previously goes, Shh! Trying to make him quiet. I'm gonna ask him to make me a grilled cheese. <laughs> we ain't got time for that. We're on a timetable with the zombies here. I will come back later. Get. Tell him to leave? Yeah. 
Me and no, we'll go ahead and just bar off the other entrances. Both of them slowly. Uh, make actually make per. Uh, <laughs> Intimidate. It's the same roll pretty much either way. Sure, then just if if they're the same thing, then just roll d twenty and add. So one. since I didn't do it in a timely manner, you just decided to go and try and climb up someone else's leg. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. Oh. Fifty. Okay. Are you persuading them or are you scaring them? It's persuasion. Okay. They slowly creep out of their cabinets and they kind of sidestep to try to get past you. And once they know that they're thoroughly past you, they, it's kind of like it's kind of like the little kid who's like trying to avoid getting his ass beat. He doesn't mm-hmm. want to turn his back to the parent because he will get swatted. I hope he doesn't look in the room. <laughs> About to the zombies, I'm there with a bloody ass great axe. Like, uh, they used to pick a hallway and they, go. They move past you. You could ask them what's in the other two rooms. See before, your. They, they move off. past you, see your entire group, and freeze. And they're, and now you have two kobolds in this room that are just staring at you. I just have yell. all of the zombies. I'm just gonna shin <laughs> them in one yeah. direction. I'm gonna yell, MOVE! They. You don't, even, but yeah. <laughs> you don't even get the rest gone. of it. They yeah. scamper out and are gone. They turn turn left toward the guy toward the way that you guys came from, <laughs> and haul ass. Let's go ahead and close off the other two, and we need to get moving. Okay, so we'll come through and clear everything out after the big bad then. We, we can kind of map it if, if we too. really want it. Yeah, I just depends. We'll yeah. just go ahead and close off the other two. And we we'll found the gunpowder. We don't really care about anything else. Let's be honest. Here. You never know. You never know. But I mean, we can be thorough once we're done. We're kind of on a time test schedule now. Okay, so you're you're not going in the other in the two other rooms. Not right now. Okay. Um, and we're blocking off the other door because they're both. Yeah, ones. those other two hallways will be blocked by. Okay, so. Which one are you doing first, left or right? It matters. One of them's already blocked off. The one closest to you is already blocked. Well, no, you just. Oh no, I'm talking. Or I'm t- I was talking about this one. You, it's, this that one corpse. We well, just block the doorway. We're just blocking, blocking this, this doorway. Part. Yeah. We're not blocking left or right. We're blocking the entrance to the room. Okay, I'm mis. Um, mis describing this thing. You said after this. Yes, it I understand split what off. I said. So, and I know it's my fault. You can go ahead and call me on it. Yeah. Then close close off the one that's moving left. From us, our left. Okay, so you close off the one on the left. Yes. I'm gonna look in the other one. Um, I'd like to hide first. Sure. What am I adding? Stealth. Stealth. Just stealth. Well. Plus ten. Twenty-nine. Mm-hmm. Thirty-nine. Yeah, thirty-nine. Not that it really mattered, but plus 10. 502. Yeah. <laughs> 863. Okay. Um, 394. So, <laughs> I'm hit. you go stealth and head up the right. And once you get to the end... I thought you were just sticking your head in. Yeah, I was just looking. I was oh, right. okay. Great. It, well, what... So, you proceed down a... be about a 15-foot cavernous hallway before you get to a... Um, an area that is about 25-ish, 30-foot-ish foot wide that has a uh, uh, place sectioned off by iron bars that divide the area into cells. Um, and there seems to be no one guarding these cells, but there is a person inside. We can go back for them later. They're in a cell. They're not going to go anywhere. They're not going to go anywhere. So. Okay, we'll come back for them later. Okay. Um, you're you're thoroughly hidden, but you do see the the person that is in the cell is like 
up against the bars, like holding it, and is like trying to do one of these to see it's what the hell. The commotion heard all the commotion. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to see what's going on. Come back to the jail cell later. Turn around and go back. Technically, it's point up to her. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go with that. Question. So I'm drawing a quick map. Trying to draw the map. Yeah. When we bit. were in the armory, did we go through the armory or did we go back out and around? We went through the armory. Through and through. Through and through. I will put the question mark over here. And there's the rocky ice blocking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of doing it so we don't forget to come back for things. Ice is crystallized water, so technically that is a rock. So you guys are going where? The shark room. Shark room. Okay. After we where closed off the entrances in this room, other than the kitchen, and heading back toward the, the shark room, you um, cautiously put your put notes weight back onto the floor. Send a zombie. And it, er, oh, that's true. So you send in a zombie. <laughs> I'm not gonna you have like fucking seven of them now. Six of them. Um, five of them. I can count. Also, you can eat it, huh? I know. Send one into the iron but room. The floor does not move. Progress. It's not heavy enough? Uh, He's a, still no, weighs as much as a human. Yeah, but it goes in there. Okay. I've been seeing there's probably a liver on the other side since yeah. these guys crossed for forever. The guy was in a panic and probably didn't repull it. So let's okay, make a quickness across. Dead sprint. Oh, well, we can go around the edge to be sure. Still, I mean, we need to be moving. We don't want anyone to trip and fall in or, you know, something silly <laughs> as a thing <laughs> goes to move. <laughs> I just wanted everybody on a platform so I can easily move y'all. Okay. And it's a normal marching order, but the zombies are taking in between me and no. Probably, right? Or are we just going to kind of... Everyone going to pick a zombie as a friend. Do you have your exit, buddy? I absolutely want to do that. (laughs) I want to just be like... Chatting it up with a zombie. Do you have I'm, I'm your battle talking buddy? Nonstop. <laughs> I want and letting them mow zero like once every to now. do with a zombie. <laughs> yeah. Zero. Yeah. I will take the other one. <laughs> okay. You can have two friends. You have two so. friends, and you talk oh. to both of them. Damn it, Drew. My only goal in Nothing general wrong. is to get friends in this. So. <laughs> Nothing doesn't matter wrong. if they're dead or. You're gonna be heartbroken when that thing falls over in an hour, aren't you? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, I'm honestly probably gonna cry. <laughs> Jeff, He's got so attached. Life. <laughs> you gonna start naming him? I got, okay. yeah, probably. I got so much like, attached to the bat that we saw twice. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so, coming through the shark room. I'm gonna name the sharks. Shark bait, ooh ha ha. You come into um, so immediately after you pass through the shark room, you come into a slight cavern. It's it's kind of a hallway, but um, only for about like twenty feet before you start seeing that like along the walls are like straw dummies that are standing there like this. Mm-hmm. And, um, like, there are a couple on the left. There's a little oh, cubby hole that has a few on the right. Um, in the center of, um, there are seven wooden training dummies standing against the wall, and all of them are nicked or splintered. Um, heavy sand is strewn across all the rocky floor, while weapons and shields lean against the wall. Um, in the middle of the bigger area, there's a large sand pit. Um, and then more dummies line. Can't be more Zach. Go. <laughs> <laughs> there is nobody in here. And it's just that is there ends a doorway, the room, or, or is it? Um, like, do we have to backtrack now, or do we you know? Off? There's there is a hall leading this way. You can make doors, by the way. Just you know, decided and to make rocks today because that's no weird. Decided. And then there's one that's like caddy, like in the corner. Woke up with an hour to stay, and I was like, mm, let's make some rats. You have two halls one that goes right, one that goes left. So, um, left is the one at the end of the room, right? Yes. Yes. 
So the one to the right goes back towards the Maybe kitchen and the, the mess hall and... Maybe. But back towards that. I'm not saying they go to that, but back towards that. It's a little more of like an upward... Okay. Yeah. Are we still on the same Z-axis? As it yeah, we haven't changed up. We haven't changed up or down. Yeah. Right. yeah, let's just keep moving straight through. We can always backtrack and move around there. So Should we walk off as we go as well? Oh, yeah. I mean, we yeah, as we'll, we'll, we'll put you through. I'll go ahead and mold earth as we pass by to block off that other passage, and we'll just keep moving through. Right, and this passage? Yeah. yeah. We now okay. have a party of ten. Mold earth. Yeah, no, that's, and I'm trying to keep the party moving. <laughs> Why we have the party of ten, because those ten are really helpful. So you're heading, you say you're heading left. Yes. Yeah. How does that you... work? So when they, when it, that hour is up, can you reuse them? If they haven't been damaged, it's well, just time that. up? That's kind of what I was asking. It's up to the DM. What? If he so wants to let me, then if, sure. If not, then if I understand. the time runs out on them and they die, if they haven't been damaged, can she re-spore them? Mm. Well, I wonder <laughs> if it's like a amount of time after death type of thing. Yeah, no. She, if, if they run out after her little ability, I would say they probably can't. They have to have just died. Yeah. Okay. So no. I'm gonna say because okay. like you can't. That answers the question. I'm gonna say I don't think you could just like graveyard. <laughs> yeah. Not yet. Not that far yet. She can. She can do fresh. Yeah, like, she can yeah, do I'm fresh bodies. Yeah. And once they're gone, they're they gone. probably eat us. I see us turning evil, taking a dungeon, building a dungeon, and like I'm leading the army. She's just recreating shit. Darm's over here saying I don't want any part of this, but I like heads. <laughs> Note's like ooh shiny. You're just sitting here with a crowd of zombies. Like hi Frank, how you doing? All of Bob, good to see you. I somehow do remember every yes. single one. Th thousands. You keep a little black book of names, and everyone yeah. thinks that it's your sexual conquest. It's not. It's no. the zombies that it's, you've it's, named, it's and you're attempting to make friends. friends. Yeah. So you had you had left. Yes. Do, do, do. You head down a very thin ten foot hallway. Uh, ten foot wide hallway, about forty feet in. Um, it heads into a spacious cavern that is hardy with the pungent scent of mildew. Stony floor is covered with more than a dozen bundles fun or just boring? of molded leather, stained with fabric scraps and pillows that serve as beds. So we found the bunkhouse. The bunkhouse. I just wrote bedroom. Anything in the bunkhouse? Um, they got chests at the end of the bed. More like people sleeping, not paying attention to the loud booms going off. I mean, like hard sleepers, or you do not see anything. The dick bag that ran away. You don't see anything occupying the the bags. Or, 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 as a, as a side note, bedroom signs up for this. Cultists who have a people and who want to live in a cave. Is this dead end or no? Um. Oh, oh, fuck. Meh. Meh. So we can go left or right? Well, this is how long the cavern is. Oh. Each one of those is 15 feet. Any cavern? Yeah, it's got it. It's All beds, what? It's like technically five? 20 foot wide, so you have an extra row, but. And then there's a, another ten foot hallway that leads up. Is that the only hallway? Um, yes, other than the way you came from. Okay. And it leads it up, goes, or is it on the same axis? It, it's it's on the same axis. I'll let you know if you guys go up or down. Well, you said up, so I, I understand. Sure. You keep saying up, which yeah, is why that's we, why keep, we asking. keep trying because to. Because it's because on on the map it's north. You're going north. Okay, this that way north. doesn't mean shit. Oh, okay. exactly. Yeah. That's why I say up. <laughs> <laughs> but that doesn't mean shit unless you mean going up in elevation. It's a, it's twenty foot long, and after the twenty foot, it splits, okay. into a perfect Y, okay. hmm. Y fork. Perfect Y. Yes. Yeah. Artificial then. Probably. Say all of this looks like somebody came in here with digging tools. Okay. And, yeah. Like none of this is worth. When did we stone. transform from? Natural to artificial. I think the door. There, there, all of the this door? is all of this is okay. nat yeah. yeah the only thing that you've seen have, that has been like worked anything has been the iron. Like this is all dirt floor, natural rock on. 
and those supporting beams. Yeah, yeah and so. you see you see beams every now and again the that are holding up the just ceiling and so just keep moving left kind of thing. Yeah, if we because if we go right, we're gonna go principles back of towards, maze always yeah. take left. Or yeah, you pick a direction and you stick to it. Well, block, so, if we block off the right and block go off left. the right and go left, we can always backtrack and come back through and just be you know. That way we know where we've been. <laughs> if you make it through this, I'll give you guys a full map. That way you guys can backtrack and look through this as much as you want. That's helpful. Okay. Because at that point, it'll technically, theoretically be cleared. Yeah. And you guys have plenty of time to walk around. Well, and that well, was the plan anyway. We just kind of go back through and clear everything. Well, now we got to go find that prisoner and ask him who the fuck he is. Yeah. Watch well, him be artist. There's uh, those little intercom horns kind of through, period, periodically like, yeah, throughout, right? Yeah. Okay. Which now that you're now that you're aware that those okay. exist, you walked into the shark room and there was one on one of the walls. You walked into the training room and there was okay. one. So they're they're in each room. In this so room, there's one. Do they like have talk. pipes that follow around Farms the just edges going through, of the rooms, just, or yeah, they it goes along the it goes along like the top ceiling, and then at some point. That's a beautiful it, like, point. Are they going through both of the Y exits? Yes. Huh. Every single one of these brass horns that I see, I'm just like... I figured it was, but you never know. You're you're breaking them. Every single one I see is broken. Okay. Saying that we could follow them, but if it's doing the same thing... No, we'll just stick left. Okay. Because we know that he has to be attached to this at some point, so... Yeah, you go go to the right side and wall it off, because... Even if we lose, he has to fix all these horns. Yeah. (laughs) Inconvenience it. And he has to dig all those things up. He has to remember where each of them are now. Creating our own maze. Yeah, yeah. It's a labyrinth. Actually, we're creating a path. This is all. This is exactly what we're doing. And we're creating a lot of dead ends for yeah. other kids. I'm writing <laughs> down. I can imagine patrols adventures. just walking along, and then all of a sudden they're like, "Wait, I know there was a door here." Okay. <laughs> you're, just, you're just angry. <laughs> yeah. You're just like, no, there is. <laughs> this is not a dead end. I don't know. It looks so so you had... keep breaking my horns. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get word out to the troops. As you turn left. You're going ten foot, and then it turns to the left again. Yeah. Jethro is uh, still arm in arm with two zombies, skipping like Wizard of Oz Dorothy, <laughs> <laughs> but really slowly because again, they're zombies. So yeah. Like, um, and they're kind of just shambling, tripping, falling. Stop. You're helping them back up. Yeah, I'm kind of like <laughs> skipping forward and like, oh, okay, and then I stop and let them get in front of me and mm-hmm. skip again. <laughs> Y'all are just having one Randall time. You're probably messed bro. Poor Barm's just sitting here upset. Ten, there's, you go ten foot them. forward, and there's a turn to the left. I want to smite them so left. bad. And if you keep going They're straight, not the area widens. Not, I mean, I can't smite them. Okay. That's true. Okay. Widens into... Is it a room, or just widens? Uh, widens into another room. Okay. Right. And, if, and as you pass by the turn, there is another room down the left part. But it's like another ten foot walkway before it widens out into the full room. We'll block it off. Go back. Okay. Block off. Same system. Yeah. Unless if we have to, if we're forced to make a turn, we take a left. Otherwise, we're just straight on course until we. Okay. I'm just gonna um, walk there because I don't know where that was. It's fine. Best way from point A to point B, straight line. I just want to go in the right direction. Mm-hmm. Okay. You head into. As the room widens out, um, check for traps. Constant. Okay. Go ahead and roll investigation. Um, the cramped hallway slowly opens up into an uncomfortably hot chamber that is outfitted to be a blacksmith. The forge is still glowing. There's an amber, a water trough, and there's various tools. Uh, and metal ingots that line um, the tables and the walls. How long has it been? 25. Investigation. How long has it been? At this point, your past uh, trace is probably starting to run its course. Okay. But we're moving pretty quick through, so we're not burned out yeah. with zombies. Well, well the a... zombies have at least a good 20 minutes on past that trace, yeah. so. Yeah. I rolled a 25 of uh, investigation. Okay. There are no traps. Okay. Okay, and the way out of the forge is. Um, so or there's no one in there, are they? You do not see anyone in here. 
Um, and on the far end of the room, there is a... Actually, there is a five-foot wide opening that has stairs that go up. Oh, boy. There's only, there's only like, five stairs. I but smell it a does, douchebag at the end. It does make you go up. That's fine. We'll go up. The single file marching order will probably be note than me than the zombies. Or note than me than Iran the zombies? Or what are we doing here? Well, he doesn't want anything to do with the zombies, so he needs to be up front. He wants everything to do with the zombies, so he can either be in the middle or the back. Who <laughs> Jethro on the back? I, I took a drink every time I heard the word zombie, and now I'm dead, and now I'm a zombie. Okay. Yeah! Technically, they're not. Sharks? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, note, and then, then me, then Garm, then Morzog, then Garm. Just making a marching order here, and then Ilrana, Jethro, or Jethro, Ilrana? He wants to be with all the zombies, so Ilrana, Kay. Jethro. Okay. <laughs> and the zombie horde and horde of zombies. Behind us. And then horde of zombies. Zombie horde's in a much like happier like state though. <laughs> yeah. They're, like, you they're can almost tell joking. You can yes. if their mouth wasn't falling off. Yeah, they're yeah. smiling. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. There is, there is some skin slip. That is what the hell have I done? The entire have reason I, I took this particular mm-hmm. arc was for this. Okay. Zombie time. Um, going off of your previous investigation roll, there's still no traps. Um, as you pass into, uh, you climb up five, foot, uh, five steps that lead you into another room. Uh, lined piles of metal ingots, textiles, other materials fill the cavern. Uh, most of it is disorganized, but all of it is clearly coming from out from you know not here. Metal ingots of what kind? Um, this is the uh, same stuff that makes the uh, automatons. You you notice as These you are pass through. Loot when we come back. You notice as you pass through the loot. other stuff. Now the, I wish we had a second. The, the blacksmith. Back. That there were pieces that were already forged out to make like the metal plating and certain armor pieces. If we're really lucky, the big bear will have one, and then we'll just. <laughs> well, um, to be fair, your carry weight is probably Garm's carry weight is probably close to mine. I, I don't know how to stuff. calculate carry weight. You know, how? I mean, my strength score is standard, but I weigh a decent. It, it depends on your size too. Because I'm tall. We could just have the zombies carry it all. So your carrying capacity is your strength score multiplied by 15. The strength score? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I can carry 150 pounds. And I can carry 540. Yep. Damn. Oh, I can drag... Uh, oh, yeah, I was gonna say that your special your work ability because I count as you, bigger for yeah. carrying and. Do, do you dragging. count as large? Yeah, okay. I count as large. Just for those? Yes, well, just for that. Okay. Be- before we continue, can I have a refill, please? Before we go any farther. Does anybody want a water? Okay. They're not cold, but they taste fine. Yeah, I count as one size larger when determining your carrying capacity and the weight you can push, drag, or lift. So I count as large for being able to carry that's my why my carry weight so high. What are you gonna use for your echo chamber now? Hmm? Oh it's uh, uh, easier. You can't oh use yeah. Your yeah. Voice. yeah. You don't have to chug it and echo chamber it. That's just a white. Because Bane is the name. Okay. Okay. I like it. All I'm thinking of right now is the uh, so li- episode of Critical Role where Matt kept going through stuff and then he kept trying right. to drink yeah. out of the same glass that was empty. Yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. So, so there's a storage room. The storage room looks like it's about 20 foot wide, mm-hmm. but about five foot of each wall is just covered in sh- stuff. stuff. Okay. So you have about a... You, you have about a 20 foot walkway to get through as and and in some places you're like having to step over things and because mm-hmm. some of it's kind of like piled out 
Um, but on the other end of the room that is 30 foot away from you, there is more steps that go down. Whew. Making our way down. <laughs> Zooming past. Sam, I'm coming back for you later. <laughs> <laughs> As you get closer to these steps, you start hearing a sound. Is it a douchebag? You start. Uh, you hear. No, 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 no. Uh, you hear a couple of thumps before. Damn it! Just like all the others. I can't keep any of you alive. Oh. If Performance only, issues. If only you would just accept What's my blessing that I'm hey, trying to give you. <laughs> I got a blessing We're for such asses. Then, <laughs> then you start hearing... Uh, then you start hearing um, a blunt thumping against something soft. Second time... Sounds like you had that up. <laughs> the, th- the third time, there's like a wet sound. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did. The fourth mm-hmm. time... And then he stops, and you hear something clang on the ground. No wonder he's upset. <laughs> <laughs> um, scouting ahead and checking for traps. Okay. Uh, I wasn't trying to interrupt you, sorry. I have a thought. I know, I'm sorry, I breathe on you. 16 investigation. As you look through the... Stop it. As you look down the stairs and you investigate each step, there are no traps. Dumbass. And this door is closed or open? Uh, there is no door, it's an opening. Oh, okay. (laughs) Doorway, even better. Um, nope, since you're the first one up there. Um, are you looking into this room or... Or are you just checking the steps for traps and moving on, moving back? I'm going to look in very carefully. Emoji. (laughs) Inside, you see a mighty anvil of dark metal that rests in the center of the cavern between two rocky pillars. To the south stands a semicircular pool of stagnant water and numerous tables covering the cavern wall. Piled with partially constructed mechanical devices and motionless automatons. A massive uh, a a massive forge stands along the north wall, filling the cavern with a bright orange glow and a dangerous looking clockwork construction rests in front of the forge, resembling a skeleton iron, skeletal iron statue without a head. On one of the tables that you see Um, from where you're sitting, it's probably about like 20 feet off, is a human that is, um, probably in his middle years, um, and a dirty white, or what would have been white, is now covered in grease and dirt and, um, blood. Walk away from a table, also wearing a large uh, leather apron that he takes off frustration. Um, You look back at the table and you see a humanoid body. The face the face and head is caved in. Um, Laying at the base of the table is a mace that is covered in blood and gore. Um, But the body is missing its right arm. And there is a um, one of the arms from an automaton that has been attempted to be put on um and it just hangs off the body is motionless question about her spore thing Mm -hmm. so do you have to do touch or Mm -hmm. if you so it's within 10 feet of me whenever whenever they they have to die within 10 feet of me then i can control them with however i want okay yeah they don't have to be within 10 feet of me after that it's just I was gonna sight. ask. So if you made the spores and someone cut them in the air and like, <laughs> no, 
No, mm. not with Mage Hand. No. No, darn. Because it had to be up on the I table. Some, some I was Frankenstein. Like, I was like, is that a fresh body? <laughs> <laughs> What's the weight of the chargers that we have? Huh? For the blasting powder? We have 20. Weight. I, yeah, I don't understand. I don't. Did he never told us. How much do they weigh? Oh. Um, the blasting powder thing? Mm-hmm. So I'm kind of curious how much Mage Hand can carry. And well, 10 pounds, so... Well, I know that. That's what I mean, is how yeah, many, how many charges. Can carry. I just put him in his bomb, and a bomb is a pound, if that helps. Yeah, it doesn't give... It doesn't, like, give a weight. I mean... I'd say, I'd the, say a pound probably sounds like a nice... A pouch that can do 3d6 of damage sounds about, yeah, like... Yeah. like because a it's a golf ball-sized pouch. Or are these pouches right? the bigger pouches? For... Well, the no, the the little bombs that she was making, those are golf balls. Oh, okay. These okay. are these are you know. Yeah, these are bigger. Okay. Yeah. Laura Bailey's dice bag. Ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a big. <laughs> that's bag. Yeah, yeah, that's, like that's soccer fair. Ball. That's fair. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like bigger this? than that. <laughs> yeah, Laura Bailey's is about twice as this. Yeah, yeah. So. It's yeah. a it's so, a freaking. So maybe maybe about that big. Sack. Filled with the powder, so those are still huge. Still, I thought they were more like. I figured they were more like that, but orange, yeah. Regardless, they weigh about a pound. So what okay. I could do is, if he's going back and forth, I could wait till he has his back turn and put one on the table, and then well, put another on the table. Or you could throw him in the forge. As you were assessing <laughs> what the body was, <laughs> he's, he's thrown off his apron and is moving toward the. Um, giant metal construction and is currently standing in front of it just looking at it. Okay. How far away is the construction? I got a plan. Okay. <laughs> can we like pause time so we can talk about a plan here? <sighs> Why you figure that out? How wide is that interest way, by the way? Like is it does it stay the five, five feet? Feet. Or does it like spread out to ten in the doorway? Is the doorway five, three? Do I gotta crawl? The uh, the stairs that lead down is a five foot, like it's one person at a time kind of thing. Okay. So. Is this actually a sixty foot room? What's your mage hand distance? Ten, seven, thirty feet. But I will check. I feel like we determined it was thirty less. Yeah, like, I know, so but I I an hour ago. I forgot. Uh, in the meantime, Jethro is yeah. teaching the zombies how to do cool rope knots. <laughs> okay, this and is the kind this of is this is the stairway where you guys are currently located. Mm-hmm. So it is sixty. I'm I'm getting. Let him build. We'll discuss him. It's kind of sad that the giant thing doesn't have a head. I know. We can't but take the head if it doesn't have maybe one. Maybe you can find it, though. Maybe he's the head, I'm, I'm just going to move you guys as many as you know where you're located. Mm-hmm. You know where I'm marching with? If it's close enough, I can drop stuff down in the big, big thing. If need be. If it's nope. You see right here on this far end? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you would. Because um, it's lit. As it comes toward here, this is a staircase. There's a bottom. There's a, thank you. Anvil. And Jethro has taught zombies how to make furniture bracelets, so if that helps at all. Nice. They each have one. I've wasted my 50 foot of rope. I, 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 don't have any, I don't have any rectangular <laughs> tables, so bear with me. It's fine. We can imagine. Just let us know where they're at. I kind of want to grab a zombie and one. Hey, kids, want to see that body? Yay! <laughs> Mm-hmm. Throw the friendship bracelet after him. Just hope it figures. Jake, come back. 
<laughs> I can turn the I can turn my disdain for zombies into a very fun tactic. It's hard to be good. Yeah. Ilana has no tactic. Yeah, the second one of these zombies go down, Jennifer's gonna have to have like a full minute. <laughs> just to process. Need a wisdom saving throw to make sure that you can. Yeah. <laughs> Out of character, people's reactions to things are, to me are hilarious. Yeah. So the reaction of someone seeing their now um, sporified friend getting yeeted at them, priceless. <laughs> Not a dollar amount you can put on that for me. Do you want Gretel? I'm looking. What is, what Did you are Mario? Hand you me uh, that robot that's like tipped over right behind you. <laughs> They're like right in front of you. You'll see the foot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. the little yeah. GM. Yeah. Yeah. The general model. Actually, that's perfect. And the animators were, the people who wrote the show were too fucking lazy to give them an actual name. Yeah. Are you taking his head off? Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. No. I can't see, so I was. I know something. Don't worry about us holding it in his hand, I'm just using it for the model. Yeah, we understand. <laughs> Why does the robot have a beam rifle? He yeah. mind, we get it. Yeah. <laughs> and Imagine then, age. just for, just for funsies, he's going, this is going to be him. Okay. Distance from door. Okay. Uh, him distance from door? Yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40 feet. Okay. Can move distance this from is that the first correct, table. Hold on. This is the correct size of the room. Yes? As good as I could fucking get it. Okay. It is, You're the money. It is a very odd shape. Yes, but it is size actually matters in this game. It is, it is warbly. <laughs> it's a weird shape, okay? I did what I could. Okay. I'm cool if the shape is wrong. I just want to make sure the dimensions are generally correct. It is a 60-foot-ish room. Yeah, okay. it's a 60-foot range. Work with what you have, not with what you wish you had. Control. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, well, because, like, 14. spells have different ranges. Weapons have ranges. It, it matters. Did you say... That's true. Did you say distance from what? The first table. This? Yes. 10 feet. Table to him. Uh, so 30, 30 then? 30. 30-ish? Yeah. yeah. Okay. The well, the table is a 10-foot table. We hit him with a 30-foot range spell. It's it's like. technically yeah. rectangular and going Actually, along this way, so... Yeah. Okay. All we have is circular tables. I'm doing what I can. No, you're fine. <laughs> if you... Jeez, Kayla! <laughs> <laughs> get up underneath the table. Here, here, I got the rectangle table. There. Run it up to him and blow it up. And then if he's still alive, I got 64 movement and surprise to get to him. So works to me. Rectangular tables. I did it. Downside the whole person. We have a plan. Aware. Yeah, he'll become okay. aware um, of us. Well, I'm going to go there. back to them so we can plan. So I was just I'm assuming like, okay, that we, so we're while we've already, that yeah. we've done that. It's going to be a very good spell. That's so I can also tell them what yeah. I've seen. Just because of the amount of damage he does if someone's wearing it. Did you hear your kind of plan? Nope. So, so he, what we're planning is, yeah. I'm going to sneak was, in like, with patches of the black powder on me. Here. And go under well, that table that's closest to us, so, so I'm close, but so I'm close sure. within range of him. Yeah. And mage hand drop off we're gonna need that really quick. ten pounds of black yeah. powder at his feet, pretty much, and light it with prestigitation. Where's my fucking? Yeah, okay. My metal d twenty. Metal d twenty? I got yeah. a couple. Well, I got one. I got two. Mine got a metal and a rock. I got a rock, and that rock's been real good to me today, so oh, it's yeah. a happy rock. I wanted mine, though. Okay, well. Oh, fuck. Right in front of his face, though. It's black on black in shadow, so. You also mind. chose a black stain for your box, so it's black on black on black on black. Mm hmm. Okay. Actually, only use that d20, whatever it's a. What if so? Revivify. Me not paying attention at all. Oh, you're gonna love this. Okay. okay. <laughs> Plan A. Sure. Sneak over to closest table. Not what closest. Yourself? Closest to the. My last stealth that I rolled was, was I rolled a hide thirty nine for hide. Okay. Yeah. That um, was then <laughs> go. I'm gonna be under the table and I'm going to use my mage hand to put ten pounds of blasting powder over where he's at. And then light it with prestigitation. 
And then if the son of a bitch is still alive, I got aggressive to pop him. Because I'm the next through the door. Okay. Um, so you take ten pounds of... After checking for traps first to make sure that the door isn't Well, trapped. she had checked through traps all the way through, so... Ten pounds of blasting power. Because I can hold ten up to ten pounds and yeah. make Okay, make a um, slide of hand check, please. Is it with advantage since you're... Yep, that's a stop checks. Her hood. Oh, yeah. Ooh. First so one was better, wasn't it? Yeah. Put some spice on the <laughs> So, 21. No, your first roll was better, though, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, 22. Yeah. One extra. It's one point oh, difference. Okay. Yeah. Hey. And it matters. And I don't know if the, the, the plus 10 thing is for hiding, right? Yeah, that's just for yeah. stealth. Okay. Are you... How, how are you coasting it along to where you need to be? Close to the ground? or? Yeah. Okay. Ground, I'm trying to keep it close to something so it's out of sight. Just kind of move slowly. Kind of yeah. pick it up and like keep it close to the side. And then... So as you start to, <laughs> as you pick up the the blasting powder, you move it along the ground, and as it gets um, just about to this table here, you see him just kind of go. Hmm? I want to go and look over. That Where are you? Going? I want to go. I want to go over. Because is that, that's the slab that has the body on it, right? This is. Oh, no. Well, then, whatever that is over there, I want to go along the ground over there, because I want to go between the Tom and Tom's legs. Yeah, much. trying to keep okay. it out of his line of sight between him, what is there, in the... Okay. Um... Okay. And he probably still sees it, but... He, he, he rolled pretty high. Um... You get it between the legs of the automaton, and he looks down. Blow it. Yeah, just blow, blow it. it. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Don't give a fuck. Just blow it. Okay. That's a lot of D6. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how much so... do you need? Oh, more how much does she need? That's what I meant. <laughs> oh, I got it. It's ten pounds worth. Right. It's a total. of ten d six. Huh. I thought it was a lot more than that. I thought each thing was three d six. It's it's three d six, but if you bind multiple pouches together, it's an additional d six and an additional five feet, up to a maximum of ten. So we didn't want to use ten pounds worth. No, it's a maximum up to a maximum. So. So ten, 10 pounds would be 10d6. Yeah, it's fine. We got it right here. Well, it would be 1d6 extra for each one, so it would be 13. Up to a maximum of 10. Yeah. yeah, is that up to a maximum of extra d6 or up to a maximum yeah. of total d6? Yeah. Card total. text matters. Up to a maximum. It says. I need verbatim. Yes. Each creature with a 5-foot exploding pouch must make a dc13 dexterity saving throw... Or take 3d6 bludgeoning damage on a failed save, as half as much on a successful. A creature that a character can bind multiple pouches of blasting powder together so they explode at the same time. Each additional pouch increases the damage by 1d6, and the blast radius by 5 feet. Maximum of 10d6 and a maximum of 20 feet. Then, well, so that, no, because yeah. that acts that add extra, so it's up to a maximum of extra, so it's 13. Yeah. Because it's not. It's counting up to a. It, where it's parentheses, it's an extra 10 in its okay. card text. So the 3 is base, so, and then adding so the extra to it adds so up to 10. So you're right, 13d6. Okay, so oh. we Well, she has d6. Oh, okay. There. Cool. There's 10, take 3. Wouldn't it be 12? Since, the one is, since 1 is 3, and then yeah. you've got 9 other ones? And then you get 10 of those, up to an extra 10. Yeah, but the but one of them Smash. is the d is the 3. One of them gets yeah. 3. Card text, base 3. Mm-hmm. You add an extra ten. You yeah. don't because the per, oh, it the says maximum, up to ten. Yeah, because the max it says maximum of ten d six in parentheses, meaning it's ten extra d six. Yes, on top of the thing. So he he so was he was right because I, that wording is fucked. Yeah, this is a fucked yes, move. Yes, we play Vanguard. We know <laughs> fucked wording. Yeah, that's bu- that's <laughs> bushy road wording. Yeah, that's that's bushy this, road fucked this up. This is sh- this is shenanigans. So yeah, it's I'm gonna fucked. go over and fire because this is a lot, and I got a little box. I already got. 
You want you want to use my box? Sure. Yeah. That was not a well thought out move, that was it? There, Jethro. Oh, <laughs> and math. Oh, that's a lot of fives. That's. Hold on, I'll do it real quick. Okay, yeah, you take those. I'm just gonna get my shit in order. Get your ducks in order. Listen. <laughs> Fifteen. Sorry to anybody who does listen to this and is getting 20. the worst ASMR ever. <laughs> 32, 37 points of fire damage. Of explosion, of boom. Well, he said. Yeah. <laughs> How much? 37. 37. Yeah, Precious is holding up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I need to. Those are all yours. Yeah. The black ones, I believe, are yours. Yeah, so I, I, I bought the black ones and then the one that's purple with white. Yeah. I was like, I have plenty of D6. Yeah, we just have them out. Instead of having to dig. So, so how fazucked was the he get? Well, it hurt. I'm sure it wasn't, you know, the greatest of feelings. Oof. Um, sure. need a that is a big oof, thing. if I can say. How much damage did you say? 37. 37 points of kaboom damage. Okay. Of boom boom damage. So it's probably half that. He probably passed it because there's only like a 13 save. But... Also, if we can get you like your best explosion sound. 18, Drew. Is rounded down. Yeah, no. Oh, no. Oh, shit. That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. No, that would be... Okay. So, as he looks down, you are like, shit. You drop the pouches and then snap your fingers to make it ignite. As, uh, and it... lets off a huge explosion that, uh, awesome to like rumbles the floor... As you see him, as he sees the pouch, he dives to try to jump behind the, the anvil that's right behind him. Um, the explosion comes up in between the legs of the large construct in front of him. Uh, construct. Construct loses its entire front. The, the dust settles and the smoke clears away. Um, he stands up from behind the... Um, Anvil. Oh, you little shits. The initiative? I was going to say, well, you call him little as I step he, through the door. He, <laughs> we're murdering bitches. No monologue. We don't care. Excuse me, little. Yeah. Well, he sees you you me got a dragonborn and a full on orc coming through the door right You've after you. You've certainly proven so. capable and determined by coming this far. I appreciate those traits. And they should be rewarded. Maybe we can come to an agreement. I look to correct the course of things that have been done in the past to make a better future. This will be the only chance you get. I have a great, I have a great agreement. You stand right there. I suplex you into the anvil. Can I hide again? <laughs> <laughs> can I hide again? <laughs> While he's distracted by the big guys. Uh, I'll. Because he's monologuing, I'll give you a chance to go ahead and hide. Yes, evil James Bond monologue. Yes. Oh, oh I get, get advantage. Self check. Jesus Christ. That was much better. Uh. So just plain that, stealth, right? You basically tell him to go fuck off. <laughs> you fireballed my horse. Is this the same I'm dude? Holding grudges. That did the guilty the by association. Oh. Uh, you you look to check features on the face. This is not the same guy. He has both eyes. Guilty by association. Where, 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 he's whereas, still gonna die. Whereas he's, th he's balding like the other guy was, um, his hair is white where the other guy's is dark. I thought that he was literally bald. Bald. No, he had, he had like hair. Oh, male hair. pattern baldness. Yeah. 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 The monk tunch. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, very well then. I still have the plus ten. Yes. Okay. Yeah, he... Doesn't matter. You, 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 like I said, unless you roll a one, you're kind of good. That's pretty. Uh, he walks around the anvil and starts to climb the construct. Nope. You no. Know. 
Nope. Next it. Murder his face. I'm gonna say I got full. Storm the castle. So. Okay. Roll initiative then. Never mind, I'm doing jack shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Only for the fact that they go after me will I be left. Not be last. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm going to big this time. Yeah? I did already. What you got? I got a 13. Ooh, okay. Huh? So. Remember how I talked about riding on your back in the battle? <laughs> <laughs> I can ride on it. If you can get up there, yeah. I've got a piece of that. Like he's getting on the oh, con truck. In, yeah. in, um, on the con truck. For the mm-hmm. fact I mean, of yeah, starting yeah. combat, can I just go ahead and... Close enough, so. Smack him with something from where I am. If you have something that can like instant. reach 40 ish feet, yes, yes, it can. Try. What's your highest spell slot? I'm going to so feel my inner Elton. Pardon? Yes, Elton Durwood. Elton. Oh God. <laughs> yes, I love it. Call money. Yes. He's a metal bitch. Okay. Bring down the reckoning. Um, go ahead and uh, what is that? Deck saving throw on his end. Yeah. At what level are you doing that? Uh, the three, because that's all I have. Because that's its base level thing. I also don't have any spell slots above that because I'm level yeah. six. Okay. Damage. Three, ten, old, oh, wait. So the big things to remember with this, right? Mm-hmm. Is that's bonus action at the end. Yeah. So for the full minute, mm-hmm. every time your turn comes around, that you can use that as a bonus action after this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then well, this second here, round be ten. since he probably is not going to, you know, do anything with okay. it, we'll probably do it the same Everybody is just yeah. Ooh. All right. So once it gets around it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're good. Eighteen. Eighteen damage. Uh huh. Lightning. No, I played a druid in the Dark Souls one shot that Logan did. And of course, I'm a max level twenty druid by the end of it. But my favorite spell throughout the whole thing was called Lightning because at higher levels I'm rolling like. 8d10 and damage. Okay. We did some fun stuff. You... We made zombies. I made friendship bracelets for zombies. Yeah, yeah, we are, pretty <laughs> much. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me, mobile suit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, uh... form a darkened cloud across the, uh, entire... I don't know, how big is the cloud? 60 foot. 60 foot. So you form a, hu- a huge entire... cloud... Uh, across this room and call a lightning bolt down that hits the uh, that courses through the metal construct. You hear a yeah, and um, usually it would like conduct through, and the lightning bolt conducts to from the top to like the chest, and you don't see it go down through the legs. Okay, you didn't hit him. I, that's all I really care about. Yeah, well, a little bit of damage here and there. It all matters. <clears throat> Plus, um, it's really good because it just stays there and you can keep doing it turn by turn. Okay, 25 to Let's 20. Take my 25 to 20? No, 20, 23. Literally put me at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only not going last because of zombies. Um, You said what? 23. Again. You should be Jeez. pretty much all the time. Where did, where did, where In no did, world should any of us go before you. Right Unless it is just a nat one and. Because nobody got a 20, correct? No. Okay. Uh, 20 to 15? 18. 17. Holy shit, Garn got a really good one. Way to go, Garn. We're doing it. 18, you said 17? Yes. 
It took me two fights, but we're, we're feeling it now. Well, you really didn't do much the last fight. I didn't have to. You didn't have to. You had it. Yeah. I, I kind of crit chained everything, so. If I managed to do what I talked about, can I go to the Yeah. Actually, what's your dexterity bonus? My dexterity bonus? Uh, yeah. Uh, plus two. Or initiative modifier? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, uh, my initiative modifier is plus one. Okay, yeah. You'll go before him. Um, and then, uh, what did I say? 15, uh, 15 yeah, yeah. to 10? What did you have? Oh, oh I had 13. 13? 13. Yeah. Woo! This year sucks. And then, like, 17 zombies. Yeah. Five. Yeah, and then her. I was exaggerating. Fuck a bunch of zombies. Exactly. Which are great. Did they say why? Uh, no. Twenty twenty. Fair enough. Yeah. COVID. There you go. Yeah. COVID in the form of a eighty foot spear. All right. No. Question. So, can I climb it? Climb what? The construct. The mech. I mean, <laughs> you're more than welcome to try. Because I'm hidden, so I could sneak up behind it and then climb it. If he, do, if he is he in it or just getting into it? Uh, unsure. You saw him jump up, all, like onto it. Where'd the light go? On it. I targeted him. So he's crawled the back of it. Either he's there or he's not. I mean. Yeah, he's there. Or he's close. Yeah. yeah. Either he's in, there in, or I'm in, in first. In, the, in like in theory, he's sharing the same space as it. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Well then, I'm going to go over to it and I'm going to climb up the back of it. Okay, make an acrobatics check. Okay. As you are unfamiliar with the construction and you're just trying to find handholds. 19. Okay. Um, and let's see, that's 1, 2, 3, 4. And he is... Okay. So, because of your normal movement, you you succeed your acrobatics, and you're able to get about to up to like his lower back. Um, that's your normal because he's, con Chow he's considered flashbacks. huge. Anyway. Chow Tzu flashbacks. <laughs> Is she still hidden? I mean, he, if he didn't see me. Huh? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't, doesn't break her spell check. That's what I'm asking. Well, no, it's not like no. a mech field. Does she need I to mean, hide again? Is no, the question. No, 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 yeah. no. Bonus action hide on the. Oh, you're yeah. you're on its like lower back ish, mm -hmm. um, and as you get up there, you hear uh, like things being moved, clicking, whirling. Um, you're unsure because you can't like see through it or anything. But is it? Does it have like distinct spots where it moves, so I'm not getting you know crushed between two best shoulder it's... blade pieces or something like that? Um. I don't want to stick him in the arm. Hold I want to the arm to go back like this. Yeah, mm -hmm. I want to. I want to hold on to it where Holding it on turns to the its torso. <laughs> there are, she has cheek advantage. She wants to divide there the are, cheeks. There are parts where there are like thick metal plating that covers uh, parts um, from like the shoulder blades to the mid back, and then it separates. Where parts seem to be able to make it to where it's flexible enough. Um, I'm gonna probably hold on to one of those plates. So it's a solid piece that I'm holding down Okay, to. so you so kind of, you know, grip part of it and okay. are holding on. Um, is, is that what you're doing, just holding on and chilling? Or? For now, because I, I want to make sure, I want to get all the way up, but... Okay, uh, well, I mean, you could theoretically use your dash action to get up there, for or your bonus action dash or whatever, to try to get up to the top. Okay. If you wanted to. I mean, you could just consider it difficult terrain. Type I mean, it technically would be because you're trying to find current handholds. Sure. So you still have about another 15 feet if you wanted to get higher up on it. Yeah. With it, you know, with you not being familiar and trying not to touch things you're not supposed to touch, you'd probably get about to its shoulders. That works for me. Well, it doesn't have a head, so that's the top. Yeah. Well, th there are things this thing does that haven't happened yet. Okay. So you, there, there are things. Just chill. There so you things. get up to the shoulders. Okay. The best thing. And you're able to look kind of over it, and you can see kind of like the top ish of his head as he's down there, like fiddling with things because it hasn't come to a turn yet. I'm going to, well, since I'm up there and that was my action, I can't really do anything more. Can I at least, or can I get, stay where I'm not 
Well, he does. I'm. Well, you know, see, yeah. Hi, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. You haven't broken high by doing anything like attacking or casting spells, so. Okay. You're still fine. Okay. Yeehaw! Um. Everybody else is still in there. Well, I, me and Garm had come to the room. We were on our way towards him when we started monologuing. Yeah. Okay. How far? Just kind of. Yeah. Give us our base 30 or whatever it is. Back to the deceleration right here. I'm working on it. <laughs> <coughs> And then we got a fucking horde. Yeah, we're just gonna put Jethro back there as he's entertaining them. Walking dead. <laughs> I've actually, I've actually got like ropes that are tied like kid leashes. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> They're not my zombies at all. I've just taken them. I, I just love yeah. them. So you just look at Elrana going, "These are mine now." Tug, tug. <laughs> um, Can't move them without me moving them. So okay, <laughs> so initiative count I'm twenty. To try to drag. I need everybody. Um. I mean, I need everybody in this area because it's technically within. <laughs> okay. So, within 15 feet of the wall, I need everybody to make Constitution saving throws, please. So he turns towards us. He's, no, it's he's it's not, a layer he's action. Not, yeah, this is this is a layer action. Okay, it's cool. Everybody within 10 feet of me, oh, add, add two. Do. Takes oh, what? Boy. Emo, rolls. I, I know plus two, but roll what? Con? Con, con saving throw. Should I also? Uh, no. no. Okay. What? Yeah, no, you're not. That close to the wall. Okay. Ooh. You were going after the bowl like you were still hungry. And now that I have I more food, you don't want it. It's not in the bowl. No, she doesn't like it in the bowl. We'll, we'll start at your She's car. scared of the bowl. Fifteen. Uh, That's with your plus two? Mm-hmm. Wasn't a great roll. Pass. Oh. Good enough. Modified twenty two. Pass. Twelve. Fail. Is that with the two? Yeah. And you don't have to worry about the note because you're far away from it. Oh, good. So, those that fail to take nine, those that pass take four. Um, As the, um, some of the, like, pipes and stuff that work its way through the ceiling that connect to parts of the forge and whatnot lay, or, um, these certain parts that opened valves that led through hot steam that kind of covered bits of the uh, along the wall here. What kind of damage? Uh, It'd be considered fire damage because it's hot steam. So. Fire or water? I I mean steam burns. It's a gas at this point. Jethro takes damage, but the steam makes his skin look amazing. <laughs> Your pores right now, so open. Awesome. So exfoliated. I'm taking the zombies through a skincare routine. <laughs> <laughs> the mushrooms oh. will be extra shiny. <laughs> <laughs> you do have one zombie that's in the room. Go ahead and make a constitution. Natural 20. <laughs> zombie lives! It is fine. The zombie's pores also look amazing. Yes. Yes, Jethro gives it the firmest as fuck. <laughs> a nice little sauna treatment, thank you. Been a long day. All right, Garm. Yeah. Your turn. He's had a rough day. So is he still he climbing the mech? Robot, from from whatever. Your, um, from, <laughs> I'm calling it a mech. Fr- fr- from, from your perspective, you can't quite tell, because he kind of, like, jumped up and, like, there there is cover there. Because the arms the arms are these big-ass, like, tree trunk motherfuckers that are just huge as shit. Well, Wait a minute. Walk around to it. Is this going to be another PTSD? Is it actually a tree? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fire damage. There's only one way. I want to be, like, right under him. If I can get there. Yeah, you can make it up to him. Okay, cool. Can I reach him? Um, with, like, How tall your short sword? <laughs> like, or? can I grab it? Oh, no. No? As you walk around to the front to, like, try to find him, he is sitting in what would be, like, the center of the chest, and he's got these, like, no. thick metal bars that are, like, covering, like, mo- like most of his uh, front, and these two big, uh, like, plates that are part of the chest 
are like starting to try to like form themselves forward. So he is like firmly in it. Yes. He currently has a hold of these like levers that are he's like <laughs> pressing buttons on. So are we talking like blue people avatar you're, you're, Gundam suit? Yeah, kind of. Okay. Think like think like more like the Iron Monger from the first Iron Man. Okay. Oh. Yeah. That's that's essentially what you're looking at is just this big fucking iron monger. Oh yeah, iron. Okay. Yeah. For those who have not seen that or have seen it so long and they don't remember. Oh, I, got, I was gonna say I got. I was yeah, I was gonna gonna get, give, give her a picture here. I was gonna ask, is his head up the top or is he his head in the middle? Which, as you're sitting on the back and he's made it around yeah. to the front, there is oh, uh, okay. there is a part in between the shoulder blades that you're next to that is starting to come out and kind of start to, like, circular. And then another part is coming up to form, like, a dome on the back. Mm. Hit it, Darm. Just fucking start swinging. It has a hole pull. It does. I know it has a hole pull. I wanted to see if I could grab him before he got in yeah. it and suplex him into the anvil. Maybe later. We'll make sure you can do that later. If anything... Make I'll make him, him a zombie, zombie and, you can and then you can do it. <laughs> I wanted to ruin his whole boss fight two, with one move. Two, two birds, one stone. <laughs> yeah. One, he gets to do it on the zombie, and... Yeah. So, I kind of poke him through. Just... If you're wanting to try to poke through, I'll give you a roll for it. Go ahead if you want to roll an attack, but he has a bonus because of the things that are... Defending him. Covering him. That's Take a knee. Bonus to the AC? Yeah. Or... He has, yeah. bon- he has bonus to okay. the AC, so go ahead and roll an attack if you want to. Just take a knee, buddy. We'll, I'll come around and we'll go take the other side and we'll just take him off with the fucking kneecaps. Yeah, we'll just, and we'll just start swinging at his knees. <laughs> Add some smites in there if you want to, just for bullshit damage. Just for bullshit damage. No. <sighs> Absolutely not. But I'm going to attack again. <laughs> Was I able to tell that the... That's probably a no, but I can at least read that number. It's 14. Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, was I able to tell that the lightning didn't go all the way through the entity? Yeah. Okay. Is that all your attacks? I'm done. Okay. Now it is his turn. Um, the parts that are forming through the back of the, in between the shoulder blades, comes up and ends up covering his head, and he is now an entire metal entity. The chest plates come forward and cover his entire body, and you can see once the chest plates form, uh, well, you would see, Garm, uh, once the chest plate forms, uh, there's a center part that gets covered by a crystal that takes up most of the, most of what would be his torso, like Stallmass torso, it's about as big as his torso. It's just this big, huge crystal in the middle of the chest. Oh look, I have a target. He, it, you're holding on. So, I'm. I'm gonna see if I can just. Ha! <laughs> Won't I? I got you. I got you to stay. He is going to turn. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, Green Ranger, riding the dragon sword. Calm mm-hmm. down. You know when you have a dream and like it's all pretty much one aesthetic and mm-hmm. then there's just one thing that doesn't quite match. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Love it. I can't do it. Okay. Oh, you can get that. All right. As he turns around and looks at the door that you guys are coming from, uh, you guys start seeing the, the part of the crystal and the chest starts to glow and you hear... And a few sparks let off before a long beam of energy starts firing towards you. I need everybody. Which has a hyper beam? I need Elrana, Morzog, Jethro, and all of your, well, this zombie. <laughs> the to, one zombie in the room. The one that made it in the room. You to, take out Jeffrey, I'm going to have a whole connection. <laughs> <laughs> to make. The Bard Rages. Uh, dexterity saving <laughs> throw. To rage. Please. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I don't get your plus two. You're too far away. I don't like you anymore. No, it's fine. You gotta get up here. <laughs> well, I'm gonna. Do be. I get your plus two? 
Yes. yes. But, yes, but you, you don't, don't have to make it. it. You're riding the damn... You're riding the dragon. <laughs> riding the bull. Could have used it. Oh, buddy. Come on. <laughs> okay. Alright. Um... Uh, I got a 13. Fail. Uh-huh. Nine. Fail. 21. Pass. Oh, you don't get one. I'm, what? Nah. I'm on the side. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. So you three got... You, you're I the only one that passed. Yeah. Zombie. And zombie... The zombie one goes through. Got 15. Well, the zombie's just gonna have to make his undead fortitude save, so... Yeah. Oh, well. Then maybe General will emotionally be okay. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, no, nope. never mind. Yeah, no, he's gone. Jethro so... dives in front of him, but it's still like it's <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> I, I completely that. missed. I would <laughs> rather have you than the zombie. That was an awfully low roll. That's fifteen points of lightning damage. Uh, it... to you three. Is it half for me or? You pass. I passed mine. Oh yeah, you passed. But so is it half damage or no? Yeah, damage? no, it's half of fifteen for you. So seven. Yes. And then 15 to you two. Zombie's dead. No! no. Zombie died. Oh, uh, the Jeffrey? That was his name? Sure, why not? Yeah, he got turned to ash. <laughs> Jethro <laughs> just falls to his knees and starts <laughs> scooping the ash. Jethro, you look back going, bag. no! As the beam just passes through him and he just disintegrates. It's it's fucking uh, Captain America seeing Spider-Man <laughs> turn to... A hundred percent. I, I take it, my it, gold. Stark I, just sitting there holding Spider Man. I he, take my gold burlap. I dump the gold <laughs> out. And I start shoving his ass in. <laughs> wow. No. <laughs> I'm just like yes. And I grab like one <laughs> gold coin and put it in there too. The, <laughs> the mech moves to around. You get an attack of opportunity. He moves around the anvil. Okay. And sits here. No, you're just holding on for dear life. Is. You see, like, the parts of, like, the shoulders are moving to keep balance. Um, one of the fists that only has, like, these three big hook fingers, one of them closes completely, and you see it bend at the wrist, almost at a 90-degree angle, as a long, thick blade pops through. Um, 23. Oh. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that hits. Bad. Good. Damage. Damage. Tell me how much of that is slashing, please. Uh, five of it will be slashing, and three of it will be cold. Okay. <laughs> oh, and then plus three. So it's eleven altogether. Uh, as he moves position and now takes a good look at what he's dealing with, he, you hear a uh, like metallic voice scream out. Behold the might of the stall master! Oh my god. When your drink wants to his drink now, we can tell. <laughs> oh, fuck. Alright. Wait. Something, something, under there is something, something, hamster. Morzog. So, I'm going to go ahead and take my second win to heal 10. Oh, shit. Because you took damage, uh, please roll a wisdom saving throw for me, please. Everyone that took damage? Or? Just them. No, just me. Uh, 12. Uh, I believe your DC was 15. I am, but I'm not technically attuned to the weapon, so does it count? I thought you attuned to the weapon last we time. We didn't take long enough rest. We didn't stop long enough to do it, because we talked about it last time. I haven't attuned okay. to it you, yet. Because you have to be attuned to it for it, so yeah. never mind. That's why I haven't been rolling any of them. Okay. Alright. Um, it's your turn. Yep, so I'm going to take my, um, my little heal here. Okay. The heal up, ten to kind of, you know, move forward. Give me a leg, probably at his right, my left. Yeah, that one. Okay. And we're gonna we're gonna swing some things. Battle axe. Yeah. Uh, nineteen. Nineteen misses. 
No, I lied. I was adding my old one. 21. 21 hits. Nice. 27 points of slashing damage. It's not a concentration spell. It is. It doesn't say concentration. I can double check. Pretty sure it is. Falling in concentration for 10 minutes. Yeah. Oh, so I just forgot to write it. Yeah. I say, because Elton, that's why I took advantage of my concentration spells, and that's yeah. all he had. 10 minutes before his concentration. So. Um, I believe with the damage that you took, you just need to roll a 10 or a. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Natural 19, so yeah. That's, yeah. that's 21 again. 21 to hit again? Yeah. That hits. Letter rip. Thank you. How are you? Uh, oh, easy there. 24. 24. Yeah. Slashing damage. Yeah. Alrighty. And we're going again. Action search. Okay. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Go for Down. It. Down. Kiara. Down. Good dog. Good dog. That is. Twenty one to hit again. Okay. Because seventeens are a thing, I guess. <laughs> that is. Yeah, keep them going. Well, that's not nearly as good. Nineteen points. Ooh. Damn. Twenty? No. Nineteen. Nineteen to hit? Uh, yeah. Misses. Okay. Well, I mean, technically you hit, but it's like, because it's a big entity, mm -hmm. but your blade grinds against one of the metal plates that occupy the leg. Okay. <sighs> Alright, Jethro. Alright, um, I'm going to cast a third level um, heat metal on the metal nice. bars that are surrounding this chest. Alright, well, hold on. <laughs> one, two, I was going to say, you can move with range, but it's, it's well, 60, it's 60 foot, foot, so, so I can reach it from be, the doorway. Yeah. Wait, you can... It's oh, a six, I didn't know that metal was range. I thought yeah. that was touch. That's yeah. metal. Okay. Um, touch the heated metal. So <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> so it's going to be the... Yeah, <laughs> cooking bucket. <laughs> <He's metal. laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. No. As soon as you're like, ooh, constructs, he's going to climb in it, and I'm over here whispering, hey, <laughs> you have heat metal. This is going to suck for him. It's your time to shine, Jethro. Yeah, Jethro. Oh. Take it away, buddy. This is going to hurt. You're because... Done. Manufacture metal objects such as a metal weapon or suit of heavy. <laughs> oh shit! Yep. And uh, he also has to make a Constitution saving throw, and to drop the object, but he can't because he's inside of it. Yep. Um, so and else. he has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks until the start of my next turn. <laughs> and the great thing is, it now becomes a bonus action on each of his next turns <laughs> to cast it again, to re up the damage. Oh my god. Heat metal's a bitch. So, so anyway. <laughs> so what we do, everyone, flip the bird. Okay. What level spell is that? Uh, third level. He cast it he, at third level. It's a yeah, second it's a second level. level, but I did cast it. Third. That extra D8. Oh, that extra D8. You didn't take it? Stacking heat metal. Just that been boss. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... He also he's shattered. not going to let go of, of the mech. That's yeah, he's not, not going to work. So, so go he ahead fails. and roll 2d8. 3d8. 3d8. I'm casting it at third level. He, up <laughs> he caps it at third. Yeah, okay, 3d8. Fire damage. So yeah, buddy. That's 22. <laughs> um, oh my god. And then constitution saving throw. 
Which he automatically fails. Which he can't, can't. Can. can't. So do. he also now has a disadvantage on attack okay. rolls and ability checks for the, until my next turn. <laughs> where I am probably going to cast, cast it again. again. Yeah, because it's just a As bonus, bonus action. action. As a bonus yeah. action. Because why not? So, so what, is, what is that disadvantage on attack rolls? Attack rolls and Save. ability checks. Oh, yeah, ability checks. Just let it ride the whole fight. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Oh Disadvantage on attack rolls is huge in these kind of fights. Disadvantage on attack and ability. Get Ooh. it, Jethro. Get it, buddy. I didn't know that he had that. Yeah, I didn't either until I was watching him throw, scroll through his spells, and I'm just like, oh, hey, pig metal object. Uh, okay, are you going to move anywhere? Like, move out of the yeah, line of, you know, trying to break a line here so he can yeah. just leave You can get a everybody. table in front of you. Yeah. 100%. I'm getting under that table. No. This go, yeah, go right. Yeah, to the to the right of me, which okay. I believe is the table with the body on it, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll... What is that? What is what? What it, is actually the pillar that you placed? Oh, that with? it's um, the anvil. Or, no. no, this is an anvil, uh, and then these two are tables. These two are tables. This is his like, like oh, workstation. Yeah, yeah, basically, it's like a big like square anywhere, table. Right? It's so got a bunch that. of. Yeah. His workbench got it. Yeah, yeah. Keep shit system. all over it. Okay. <laughs> you see, you see another automaton that's like halfway through construction. Okay. So. Okay. That's it for me. Um, no bonus action or anything. Um. Inspiration. I was gonna say either yeah. me or how many? Gone. How many inspiration do you have? It's equal to your charisma modifier. Right? Three. Okay. And yeah. I've already used one. Um, yeah, um... You don't, ha- you don't have to if you don't want to. I'm yes. just asking if you want to. Yeah, no, I think I will. Who, um... Yeah, Garm here. I'm on the other side. Yeah. Well, Garm already has one. He can't have more than one. Well, it's right. probably it's up it, now. It's, it's ten minutes. Yeah, it's, it's oh, only okay. ten minutes, yeah. Like, uh, so, so, preferably either me, Garm, or no. Yeah. yeah. Um... Or Elrana because she's getting ready to go. Yeah. You know, yeah, I'll do that. I'll give it to Elrana. So, that's Give one. it to the zombie. Yeah. <laughs> gives it gives all three the zombies. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Paul. Um, maybe next time the fourth one's just back there, just head home. Right. So that's Aww. just an extra D eight to an ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. So an extra D eight. So whatever that's you want. Nice. Okay. Anything. Now we're on your turn. Actually, at the end of your turn, he is going to use two of his legendary actions to. Um, note, as you're holding on, you kind of look over the dome that is his, like, helmeted head, and you see one of the, the shoulder, the big, like, shoulder armor, like, pauldron, opens up, and there's a big metal, like, crossbow that raises up, flips down, and the arms go, and the string is already pulled, and there's a bolt in it. Cut the string, cut the strings, cut the string. And he, <laughs> uh, yeah, just reach up there and just slash it as it comes out. Can I do that as like a well, you technically didn't take an action, did you? Um, uh, so he's going to take a shot at you, Jethro, with the crossbow. He's very mad about it. I was gonna say, is the there, Jethro has like three quarters cover. So. Is there any way that I can cut it as a reaction or anything like that? Disadvantage, by the uh, way. Huh? Disadvantage, by the That's way. That's true. Because <laughs> um, I, I only see him roll one, so you didn't claim that you had held an action, like an attack or anything. No, you were just I was saying just, that you held on. I was on. just on him. Yeah. yeah. Um, but he does have. Uh, this, this can, oh shit! That's bad. That's part of his control, <laughs> so that makes sense. He rolled the same. Actually, he rolled better, so we'll go with the other one, okay. which is. <laughs> Hits. Uh, thirteen. Ooh. No, that doesn't hit. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. So it lets off, and you thankfully are like kind of like happily ducking past this table. It goes past your head, and the bolt is like big, big. that thick, and it just it's in the wall. Though it's sunk yeah. into the wall next to you, and you look over, and you just see the long shaft just I poking take, out. I take Jeffrey's friendship bracelet. <laughs> put, it just, it. put it on. It. Um, the crossbow disappears back in. And note, you can hear a <laughs> as something is happening to it. Uh, okay, now we're on your turn. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go up to Okay. Uh, try. With the sword? Yep. Okay. With the sword. 
Go ahead and make an attack roll. Have a flank. There's notes on his back. And I'm there beating on him? Yeah. Mm, that's going to be 23. Uh, 23 hits. Nine. 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 Flashing. That's not two damage, is it? Um. Just ability checks or saving throws or. And attack rolls, so no, and not two damage. So, okay. so if you whip a bad attack roll here, right. maybe you know. Now you have four more turns as you have four zombies. That's not true. We've lost Jeffrey. <laughs> well, you no, get five. Five. Yeah, five. Five. Oh, never mind. Gone yeah. now, I'm so. still emotionally distraught. So meander the zombies uh, and just around still them. Have you know, Gary, Larry, Terry, the and Ton. Because... <laughs> no, no, no. You gotta have one that's wrong. Ton. Gary, Larry, Terry, and Ton. Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, me and right in. Uh, what's our movement speed? <laughs> Shambling zombie. <laughs> <laughs> these awesome. are these are Romero zombies. They don't run. Oh, I got you. Movement speed's like maybe. 20. 20? Okay. Yeah. Shambling. <laughs> okay, we're gonna, are you, you're gonna get them all in here? Yeah. Kind of spread them out. I mean, try to yeah, keep yeah, them from being, not, you know, hyper Not in the line anymore. Would be yeah. nice. But if they can all be next to me, that'd be great. <laughs> Protect hey. Jethro. Hey, yeah. everyone, get in here. <laughs> oh, I hated they're that They're still up, but, like, they're not in that straight line. At its anymore. height, when that first came out, that deck was awful. And, of course, I played it, but... You should play. As you should, it was good. <sighs> all right. Back to the top. Nope. When the game yeah, turned yeah. four. Yeah, pretty much. Um... Because can like, I tell Ooh, where chicken. he is looking from? Like, if I, so I, I'm up there, I want to get up the, like, the bit so I can look down and see if I can tell where he, if there's like a visor or something that he's looking out of. It was a dome, wasn't it? Yeah, it's, like it's, a, well, it's, like, it's a helmet. He's got like a, a, a like a visor. Or a, Why am I pitching picturing Spider-Man and Ant-Man in Civil War. She's just going to kind of crawl up and he's just yeah. like, get off my face! Well, you tie a rope to his waist and start <laughs> yeah, swinging around yeah. him. Her strand. I... Hey guys, have you seen that really old movie? <laughs> I've got a bottle of ink. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. You Well, okay. To there, there is a, there is a, like, opening... It's not okay. like a, a glass visor or anything. It's like there is an opening for him to see out of. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Throw that in his face. <laughs> Still do it. Just just oh, smash can, it and just let it splatter. And then I can to get it exact in there. I can use mage hand and that way I don't miss. She just coats mage you, hand in ink and it just goes yeah. into his face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, just is, that what you're, is that what you want to do? I'll give I'll give you a um, I'll give you a um, a d20 plus your dexterity with mage hand. Okay. If you if that's what you Do want. Do it. To. Sure. Yes. Oh, okay. Shenanigans. <laughs> You're this is some home alone <laughs> shit. Uh-huh. He's gonna <laughs> ink in his face. Plus his controls are hot, so he's just. Oh <laughs> god. Oh god. It's, it's literally the doorknob thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, I didn't do very good. We do shit water um, on the whole floor. Eight? I said, hey, she rolled you, three. You, you pull your, your little bottle of, of your writing ink that you usually use to write down all your notes in your journal, and you put it in your mage hand and throw it at the visor, and it splatters across, like, the side of the face, not quite getting it in there. You're close. It's obnoxious, but not as nice. Yeah. Yeah. Now, here's a question. Do you, you have, really have the one ink bottle, or do you have more? <laughs> I only have the one. Damn. We'll get you we more. Just, like, well, can you just, like, drop a bottle in there? Do you have acid? There? Well, um, what I'm sitting here thinking is maybe next turn she takes some of those, um, the bombs and just kind of mage hands them into the was, visor. What I was thinking is, you, because you mentioned so I have to get something <laughs> ready if I want to do something during someone else's turn. I need to get an action ready, correct? You have to declare that you're doing it. Yeah. So. I, but you throw you throwing that in there, I would call that an action. Yeah, because the mage hand chance doesn't Find it and then yeah. cast your spell and... It's hijinks. And but, chunk it, but you you okay. can take some of those nice little bombs that we That's were given next turn and then it, just. Well, but to but to clarify, if there's something, if there's a situation that's not adequate at the moment, mm-hmm. you can say, you know, I want to hold, you know, name an action like I want to hold an attack or hold doing spell using or... an item or something, and then you can say a trigger, and if oh. the trigger happens, then you can do your action, or mm-hmm. if the trigger never happens, you can just be like, okay, I want to do it now anyway. 
Would taking the either a bag of blasting powder or some of them ball bombs out of my pocket count as an action or a bonus? That would that would be an action for okay. you to. That's not my free action. No, it's you take you can take a potion out of your bag, pop it, and drink it as a bonus be, action. It would you be a bonus action it. for her to get it, but an action to use it. Yeah. Oh, so go ahead and prep it this turn. Yeah, I want to if, prep you wanna, it. if you want to use your bonus action to pull it out of your bag and like hold on to it. Because what fine. I really want to do is if he pulls out that shoulder thing again, pop it in the hole. And just destroy his crossbow okay. mechanism. Yeah. Well, for, for right now, you can use your bonus action. You can get a hold of the bomb and prepare it. Okay. And then when it comes back to your turn next round, we can then you can hold your out. action to wait for that to pop up again. Okay. If you so choose to do. One. Yeah. If if that's something you want to do. So for right now, you're just like, okay, I have a plan, and you start pulling that out. Mm-hmm. <sighs> All right. Um, new layer action. So I need... I need to in the visor or in whatever opens up, or you know what I mean, whatever opportunity you have. Actually. Just drop it the first Nobody's, hole you find. Nobody is currently <laughs> sitting by the... Uh, the forge, so the um, the forge like roils with heat and kind of starts to flare up, but nobody's close enough to it for it to do anything. So you guys dodge that one. Car, you just want to put me on his left. Yeah, <laughs> and we're, we're chopping down trees. We're swinging. <laughs> Big time advantage here. Are you ready to catch me when he falls? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nope, one of us will. No. I'm going to attack again. Okay. Yeah. What'd you roll? Very poorly. Okay. Not going to hit the 20 AC that he needs. Sure. Yeah, no. It's like... I'm trying to think. I need like a 15 to hit him. 24. 24 hits. You need a 16 meter. 25. My slot. Yeah, fuck it, we'll smite him. I don't give a shit. I need these. Max smite? Mm, level one. Okay. Haven't you already used your max smite? Hmm? Or have you just been burning ones and. He, or you're only up to twos right, right now. Or yeah, short rest. Yeah. And not have. Hmm? Is he getting back on short rest or long rest? Put long rest. Sure. Huh. Uh, so seven, four, seven, fifteen, eighteen altogether. How much? Of, how much of a slasher? Uh, two. And that was your second attack. Mm-hmm. One minute. Give me a second. I gotta find it. I guess I should take that memory if I can even think about it. So we will go ahead and use my channel divinity for inspiring smite. I do get that back on a short rest, which is really nice. Downside, buy more later. Buy more what? Oh, oh, ink. Ink. Yeah. Just get an actual one in case we're in this exact same situation. Yeah. Well, well I, I need it for notes. Like, well, I, know, I know, but like an additional no. one. Like Spare, like yes. Notes. This, this is notes. Shenanigans. Yes, <laughs> shenanigans, yes. <laughs> notes. No, well, that's Ruby Booth Gunpowder. Fun things? Okay. Fluffer matter. Five temporary hit points. Five yeah. temporary, five temporary. Shit, sure, yeah. I'll take the hell. Alright. Um, as we come back around to his turn... It is currently 8.20, and some of us have to work tonight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take pictures of all this. I'm going to call it quits for tonight, and we'll pick up the rest of this fight next uh, next Saturday. Okay. So I hope you all have fun. We'll continue this next week. Like I said, I'll record everything. That way we know what the hell we were doing. And this has been Deck Save. Bye! Bye. Bye. Hit that damn button.